So yeah, you need to press the button go live to actually go live. And uh, yeah, I was not going live at all. And I apologize for that. So I was talking to myself for good 17 minutes before I realized I'm bad. I'm bad at uh, this. Uh, I'm bad at this uh, live streaming, I guess. I, I did set up the bitrate correctly and everything so i think that streaming should be okay now so i am a little bit late i apologize but i will be here for six hours uh talking and live streaming the unboxing so yeah hmm. these three have some weird like pink thing going around them i guess that's the mistake but uh I'm going to have to, I'm going to find them out easily if I, if I would need to. So yeah, uh, I hope the stream now goes well. I did some, uh, I did messed up with a few of the setup things because I searched online what's the best setup, you know, and then somebody said like push the bitrate all the way up and I don't know what, and I did that. So, and that ended up making live stream being really laggy and choppy and whatnot. So uh, so yeah, that was a mistake on my part. What we are doing today is we are celebrating. I'm going to have to tell you all about it all over again because I told the entire story in about 15 minutes and I was not even live. So uh, good for me, right? So yeah, welcome everybody who joins this live stream. I'm sorry I'm late because I haven't pushed the go live button. Go figure. And uh, yeah. Uh, something that started as the and a fun project of sorts ended up being a six year of making videos on this channel and uh, yeah many times uh, I have to be honest many times I wanted to quit I just like had enough of it and everything it was just taking too much of my free time you know I could spend all that time playing games you know spend time with the family with friends and I was like sitting here making videos. But then at the end, uh, there's always like each time and, and it's like on the spot, like somebody knows. It's like somebody knows that I have, uh, I'm like uh, doubting, should I continue making this channel anymore? Should I have this channel anymore? Or should I just stop uploading? And they leave a comment like, oh my God, such a great video. Thank you for your review. I really like your video, stuff like that. And those comments, those types of comments are something that really keeps you going. Something that really, as a reviewer, I can say that that's the biggest motivation that I can get. A, a tiny positive comment that you like my video goes such a long way. You have no idea how long it goes. And, uh, for that reason alone, I decided to leave more comments on the videos that I watch on a YouTube because I know that, uh, you know, creators are, uh, creators really like uh, those types of things. I know I like, so I presume everybody else likes. So yeah, uh, Daniel says, hey, Daniel, you're here. He says, um, hello, hello, congratulations on six years. Uh, I'm also unboxing Heat as we speak. Oh, the hit is really fun game, to be honest. And uh, yeah, I'll be here for six hours. So if you have more games to unbox, just do because I will be doing this for six hours. And I already got a paper cut offline to be to be uh, fair. But still, I managed to cut myself on a piece of paper in a board game. I mean, <laughs> it's really weird because I never I was never able to do that actually done that to myself to cut myself on the paper but this time i somehow managed so yeah that's a new thing for me uh also i what i was saying is that uh, if you want me to unbox some of the games like some particular game if you're interested in some particular game do let me know and i will unbox some of those games first uh, all of them are in the description down below. At least most of them are in the description down below. So have that in mind. Okay, let's see if I can use some of these bags like these. This and this can be in one bag easily. And then I can reuse this one for something else. I don't want to like, I have like a gazillion bags. So I can easily just put everything 
in their separate bag but I want to be as fast as possible because by my calculations we have 74 games to unbox okay a little bit less because some of them are unboxed already and uh, and those that are not unboxed we would need to like unbox 10 of them per hour to actually manage to squeeze them all in six hours so yeah I'm already terrified of, of streaming for six hours I think it is going to be a really really challenging thing to do uh, I don't know I already need to pee I'm hungry I'm thirsty I'm thirsty everything so yeah I have these like few of these baggies over here let's just see if we can use okay so this big one we definitely we are going to definitely need for something and these two are really big but these these are the smaller ones and these smaller ones I can definitely use like this one for example I can use to put all these tokens in he, in inside so yeah uh, yeah the heat you were mentioning the heat and uh, we played it just the first game you know the regular one where you kind of learn how the game plays we had uh, lots of question marks over our head uh, some of the rules were not the clear most clear to us, but uh, overall I think the game has a potential It looked really interesting from what I saw and uh, Yeah, I hope it's a good game. I'm not sure if I'll be able to play it through entire like campaign I don't know if there's a campaign You would like to see Acropolis and Rainforest Acropolis Acropolis. I actually Unboxed already, but I'm gonna show you the components right away and uh, rainforest 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 is somewhere up there i can't see it for some strange reason but uh, yeah i will find it and i will unbox it oh no wait rainforest it's also down here it's also opened up we just didn't man we didn't have time to play it but i did open it up so you are in luck those two i will show you in a second as soon as I bag all of these things up, Woodcraft, I'm expecting so much from this game. I really am because I like delicious games work and what they do and how they do. So first of all, let me show you the rainforest. Okay, the rainforest. Rainforest is, uh, have I played Flamme Rouge? How would you compare it? Uh, I have not played Flam Flamme Rouge, but somebody told me that they are pretty similar games, so I guess they are similar, but uh, using this draft thing and all that, I think regarding that they are pretty much similar. But overall, I'm not really sure how similar they are. Uh, Rainforest uh, is a really easy game, it's like a set collection thing going on. You get these tiles in uh, every color and uh, for example all, all of these are not these three but some of these are like uh, purple ones and there's always one in there that's like or two i thought it was one but i guess that's two that's like double colored like this one for example is red and purple so it counts as a red and as a purple and you will have this thing in front of yourself and you will use these tiles to reserve them and then uh, when you uh, reserve them you will also get a tokens with them that you pick up either by color or by the symbol on them so you can either pick all the frogs not minding the color or you can take all the yellows whatever they are and you will put them on these cards and you will try to make a grid three by three but uh, yeah these are really nice wooden components fairly thick like usual usual thickness so to say and you get a bunch of them i think even more more than you even need in four players so rainforest gives you canopy vibes um it it it, it is in an artwork sense but nothing else if you would ask me so basically let me show you just some so you have like these green tiles of course this is like a green and purple green and yellow or this is like a purple no this is yellow purple and this is yellow green and these are normal green this is blue yellow that actually goes by the yellow so they're all 
messed up a little bit but you need to sort them out by their background color and just put them on the board and the board looks like this wait a second this is like the board is pretty simple so this is basically the board and you will be putting tokens here as you can see the blue ones only have two tokens on them and the red ones ha can have six tokens on them so when you go want to go for lots of tokens that are good for you then you'll probably aim for some of these when once you need some specific tile maybe we'll go for this but uh, yeah oh my wife is here hello wife and yeah you have tokens uh, so uh, these tokens are used when you have uh, each of every color you will score some points stuff like that but basically yeah that's the rainforest and as i was saying it has vibe just in an artwork to canopy but canopy is like a trick taking hidden information thing and over here there's no hidden information you know everything that's going on so there's no question marks <laughs> uh, so yeah that was uh, the rainforest and i haven't put it in properly because something is sticking out and it will probably mess up with the lid and i would be furious then because i take care of my games so let's repack it a little bit ah oh, come on this should not be that hard okay so i think we repacked it okay now zeblik my patreon friend hello uh thank you for congratulating me okay so that was the rainforest uh, i will show you now the acropolis it's already open and this box can't be stored vertically because everything goes everywhere in it which you will see in a second because i had it vertically stored as you can see the thing just went all over the place <laughs> but yeah you get these tiles uh, these like a uh, hexagonal of three like uh, different things and you will put them besides or one uh, on top of the other and you will try to build your districts and of course each of these districts will uh, give you will score you in a different uh, way so yeah and these are all these all come punched out already so you get like everything punched out so that's a really nice thing you know because you don't have to spend time punching out board games and stuff but yeah you can always do that i mean it's not like it's something like super uh hard to do but still it's convenient when you get everything like unpunched so i think that these guys go over here but yeah basically it's just a bunch of hexagonal tiles with uh, different uh, colored artworks on them and you are trying to put these districts in a good use and uh, Mirko is uh, celebrating with us with the emojis hi Mirko and uh, this one goes here for the end game scoring and of course over here it's explained how everything scores and it's really really nicely explained it shows you how much of everything is there and how everything scores so i still i wasn't able to play this one yet but i'm looking forward to it because it looks like one of those that's like super easy to explain super easy to teach but still super heavy you know to master sort of like you know because you want to score everything and anything and then you don't you're not able so yeah uh let me drink a little bit of my coffee that's already super cold oh my god we are in for like what 15 20 minutes and i am already i'm already regretting it how can people stream for hours and hours and hours it will be beyond me okay next up what i want to unbox uh for zeblik and for mirko uh if you want me to unbox a particular game there's a description in the description down below there's a list of almost all of the games that i brought from essence so do let me know if you want me to unbox a specific game while you are here you know I pre because i presume you will not be here for entire six hours next up that i i want to unbox because i want to see what's inside is insecta as i said in my what did i bring from sn video i got this one just because uh, as i'm getting older i'm getting more and more afraid of bugs for some reason they just disgust me more and more 
and I just can't control it. It's beyond me now. I just accepted it that I will scream like a little girl when if it lands on me, especially the stink bugs and spiders. Those two things are just ugh, yuck. And uh, yeah, so I saw Insecta and uh, I already did review for GDM games. I think they are really underrated publisher. They have these really nice little games that are really like uh, beginner games and they look really interesting but uh, they decided to go for the big one this year and made like a huge huge game yeah exactly <laughs> daniel says it insecta looks nice but bugs bruh. exactly that it looks nice but bugs really uh so yeah uh work is keeping my attention will keep this in background oh i am your background noise uh background noise well uh, thank you for that <laughs> uh i i take that as a compliment okay so what we have we have some cubes some meeples the regular thing we have rule books in i presume few different languages and uh, these are the this is not the english oh okay so this these are the english rules oh, okay i was scared a little bit that uh, oh uh, as i said this looks like fairly simple game so i'm expecting a simple game but very engaging like interesting game so and everything is like a plastic i think you could spill water on it and it would not soak in anything it would just spill over so uh yeah uh, this is the board it's pretty glossy uh, but yeah okay that's fine and uh, what this this looks really really interesting okay we get a bunch of tiles to punch out this is like a heavy box with a lot of components inside so let's put it aside and start punching things out uh, first of all we have tiles that I have no idea uh, what they are for because I haven't read the game yet the rules, but I will try and ooh, And they punch out really nicely. I will just try and keep them color-coded and hope for the best So We are just going to punch these out and we are going to spend some more time punching out these bugs. I mean, we are going to do it slowly so Daniel, my uh, friend by the same name, and I can like uh, uh, be like, uh, you know, disgusted by them, <laughs> sort of. Okay, so we have these, uh, ooh, these are like American bugs. So they are bugs from different continents and you need to like collect them, I presume because i think this is a game about collecting bugs at least they look like they are collected so now i'm a little less afraid of some of these bugs just because i know they're dead but still <laughs> yeah they just look, look yucky and i'm not sure why is that i would like to, to like I, I saw a video of a girl like a news reporter passing out just because she knew that they will put a spider on her to run around her like a little tarantula not like a big one but a little fast one which scares me indefinitely more than the slow big one you know the, the ones that you can't absolutely control they just run all over you that's like no in my book by any means okay so these bugs they look really uh and some of these some of these are in europe so yeah good for us so, and uh, I must say the cardboard quality, it's pretty darn good. Uh, I know GDM is like a small publisher, but this game looks like they spent a significant portion of their money on it. These look really nice, thick cardboard. It's like everything is, it's not like uh, laminated, but it, it has this like a plasticky finish over it, it's, you know. I don't know, it looks, it looks really like it's nice quality made and uh, I like it. So far, it looks interesting. 
I guess I will have to play this one soon because I definitely am interested to see how this game works. Uh, because I like set collection games, you know, and all that. They are something that I enjoy very much when you like, you know, get to collect a set of something. Okay, so we have more butterflies. We have uh, uh, like a cricket or whatever it is. There's all like, these are all like uh, Latin names. Papilio Uliesis. Okay, I know the papillon is a butterfly. I mean, it is butterfly, I can see that, but uh, yeah, I don't know what uh, Ulysses means. Uh, so yeah. Okay, these tiles are really punching out so nicely, so cleanly. And uh, they're really nice, thick. Okay, uh, let's uh, continue. My God, there is this box. I thought it would be a little less heavy once I'm done with it. But I guess this is not... Okay, these bugs look... Look... Blech. I don't even want to know what these bugs are. It's... Uh, I can't even read it. Uh, yeah, what I was saying, I thought that uh, once I punch all the cardboard, the game will be a little less heavier. But uh, it doesn't look like that so far. It looks like we are going to have a pretty heavy game on our hands with a lot of cardboard. A lot of cardboard so I don't see how I would benefit from putting these uh, tiles in a bag because they would just take out too much space in a box that they really don't need so I guess I would just have to throw all of this in a box there's no insert so it's not that it's needed but yeah we also have a blank stuff going on and uh, I will keep this I could probably because it's a thick cardboard I could probably use it in my miniature hobby for something I don't know I will keep this aside let's just put it aside and then we have whatever these are I guess these are your like unique scoring things that you will be using to score different bugs and uh, whatnot so yeah that sounds like, uh, let's see if I can punch them like two by two. Oh, this is a faster way, which is probably uh, more louder. Uh, is the sound okay? Nobody commented anything, so I presume the sound is okay. And I presume that video is not laggy anymore. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, check out this, Daniel. A stink bug. I think it's a stink bug. It has to be. Uh, even if it's ferocious or it's a lot, I believe it's a, some sort of stink bug, but I'm not really sure. And these crickets or whatever they are, they look ugh, mighty yucky. Okay, so let's see. What if we do it like this? Ooh, this goes way faster. Ugh. Okay, we just started and uh, there's, there's, I just unboxed like two games and there's already like an insane amount of cardboard residue on the table. Oh, we get some more of these blanks. I will not make some of mine. I'm not that good, but they will be used for something. Maybe even in a board game prototyping. What is that you say? Prototyping? Are you making your own game, Daniel? Well, maybe, <laughs> maybe not. So yeah, let me tell you uh, about the game that I have in my head for gazillion years now. And uh, it is still just developing in my head because I constantly change it, what I want it to be and from what it started. So basically, I wanted to create a game that is like uh, Blitzkrieg or like a Caesar, one of those games, if you know those games, the game that uh, like it's super strategic, it's really like 
heavy on strategy, but it is uh, like super easy to explain with easy rules, you know, to understand the game and everything. So I was kind of interested to make a game like that. And uh, I first uh, was toying with the idea of well, like making some type of Heroes of Might and Magic game where you will have your castles and you will attack each other's. But right now, it is uh, and it's ended up as I wanted it. I wanted to be a World War Two game. Uh, Indra says hello, people. Hello, Indra. Uh, so yeah, uh, I want to make a game uh, like it's a three-part game, but can be mixed and matched however you want. So it would be a World War Two theme game, and it would be like uh, one of them would be roll and uh, roll and do stuff with the dice. Uh, one of them would be like a flip the cards and do something with the cards that you flip and the third one would be i don't know something uh, completely different which i haven't figured out yet what i would want to be like maybe some worker placement or action point action selection uh, action point distribution thing going on and uh, it would be three different games one of them would be like a land battle like tanks and infantry one of them would be like airplanes dog fighting you know world war ii and the third one would be about ships and submarines and stuff like that and uh, if you want to combine them you could you could combine them together you know create a random map each time and uh, you combine them in a way that uh, you combine them in a way that you use all of those things together you know uh, to kind of attack each other it, it would be a two-player game of course so that's the idea right now that I'm having in my head for a game. But uh, as I said, it's just an idea. I don't know if it will ever happen, any, happen anything out of it because I just don't have time to put everything on the paper, you know, and play test everything and, and try to figure out how everything would work, actually. So yeah, uh, we unboxed uh, Insecta and those bugs are yucky as hell. So yeah, um, since there is no like a, maybe if I put them like this and then the board on top and the rule books, yeah, nah, that can't work because it would be too high up. So I'll just throw them in here and just sort them out each time I play the game. I might make an insert for it or, or I might get in touch with in my box and ask them if they would like to make an insert for this game because this game is an insert this will fly all over the box so that sounds like an ambitious game yeah it is like an ambitious game but i want it like to be like super simple rules you know you just flip some cards roll some dice select some actions and attack each other and that's that that's everything that you do just quick like those 20 minute battles in in a in a in a game called Blitzkrieg and in a Caesar and in a dogfight. It's the third one in the series and I had the pleasure to play it at Essen and it is freaking fantastic game. I loved it so much. It was insane. So uh, maybe keep it simple game first, then tweak it. Uh, yeah, that's the idea. I want to keep it like a simple. You just like say, for example, you flip. Oh yeah, I remember now. The third one would be I split you choose kind of thing. So yeah, but the, the first one uh, would be like, uh, I mean the first one, uh, the one with the uh, flip and do something, you know, attack other player would be like you flip cards and then you decide which one uh, you want to activate and you go back and forth and you know, when, once the card is spent, you will, you will be, uh, they, it will be discarded, you know, stuff like that. Uh, can you do? Revive. Can I do revive? Yeah, sure. Revive. It's right over here. I wanted to do the uh, oak, but we're gonna do oak later. Let's do a revive. Uh, I already actually played revive, but my friend's copy. I haven't unboxed mine. And uh, <laughs> uh, spoiler alert on under my review of it. This game is 11 out of 10. It's freaking awesome. I uh, it, there is like a little campaign in it. Uh, I. I suggest you start playing it right away from the start. The game is this looks deceptively complicated. It's really not complicated at all. The, the turns flow really nice. You have like two actions per turn, 
which is really cool and uh, yeah this is kind of like a mini review <laughs> so yeah the turns go really really quickly there is a little bit of analysis paralysis it can happen from time to time oh we get a bunch of baggies so we don't have to use these and uh, yeah uh, a little bit of analysis paralysis but nothing that uh, nothing that i would say like it's super oh my god that's not good get off get uh, don't don't do don't get this game you know stuff like that so uh yeah what we have these tokens you will use to activate all kinds of different things score points you get some meeples that you will be putting on a board some energy that you will use for extra actions and this is the deck that contains like this uh like a little mini uh, campaign basically they decided that they will make uh, all kinds of different uh, like little you know like add-ons to the game where you can like just uh put them in the game if you want to or if you don't want to you don't have to but uh, instead of just uh throwing them in a box and telling them now use this if you want to play like this and this and this they created an entire little game around it which uh, uh, i found very really interesting like little campaign around it so yeah by the way it's already been six years time sure flies uh, yeah, <laughs> I've been here for six years. Not sure how long have you been here for, but I've been doing this for six years. I presume you are here for a long time since uh, you are commenting like that. But uh, yeah, uh, of course I will not show you this deck. This was supposed. This is supposed to be like uh, something that you will be discovering on your own. So I'm just going to like go quickly through it. That's all you're gonna see. And uh, yeah, let's put it in a bag and uh, if this can be played as a solo campaign i might play it as a solo campaign uh, but just uh, i'm not really sure i have to first read the rules for the solo game because sometimes solo games can be like super hard to play with to play uh, like you know some solo games you just sit down and play the same game but play it solo but some of the games have so much moving part that it's just not worth it at all okay so these are basically the cards that you will be using throughout the game these are like uh, this is this game is sort of like a deck builder worker placement set collection thing it's everything really so basically you will be uh, using these cards you know to activate them and depending where you put these cards on top of your board you will then activate these things and if you put it uh, on a lower part of your board, you will activate lower part. You will get the bonus, whatever the bonus is. If it's this star, it's your unique ability. And each player has, of course, unique ability uh, with all kinds of uh, other things attached to them. If the cards have things like this, that means that you can attach another card on it once you play this one. But it usually has better ability down here. So, yeah, it's always like what you want to do with it right now. But... Uh, there's four different cards there's robots there's these guys these green guys and these like orange not orange uh, so robots yellows and uh, green guys yeah three types of workers that these are usually always about cogs these are about books and these guys are about food uh, those are the resources in the game and these are just these explain you all the things you can do in a game pretty simple and easy these are like end game scoring stuff but uh, overall this game works miraculously great miraculously great i love it so much it, it hmm. i think it might sh straight shut up shoot up in my top 10 of all time like straight up just how flowy it is how how easy going it is you just it's your time you do some stuff you move some uh, components you put something on a board it's just a wonderful game Uh, replacing Anachrony is my favorite game. Uh, I like Aporta games. Capital Lux and the Magnificent are one of my favorites. Can't wait to try this one. Will it replace Anachrony on a top spot? Absolutely not. But it was. It is really close. Like I, I need to play it a little bit more. I want to go through that campaign. And once I go through that campaign, I will let you know where it sits with me. But as it looks right now, 
uh, as I said, it looks like it's going to be like a <laughs> top five material, not top 10, top five. <laughs> so yeah, uh, what we have are these factions. You are playing four different factions. I think there's even more factions, but you need to unlock them through that campaign. So, and there's like a, this day side and then there's this night side. And these are have like a different abilities. So I'm not sure these, these are still not unlocked for us. So yeah. We should not probably look that much into it. Uh, but overall, you will have some houses here that you will be building on a board and you will have some meeples here. You will be unlocking these abilities for you. And once you activate your superpower on the thing that's unique to you, you will get something. So this guy gets two knowledge, but this one gains uh, one research from each adjacent water and there will be water on the spaces on the board, which you will be collecting. So. Uh, I actually played this one and completely destroyed them. I'm not saying he's overpowered, it's just it was our first game and uh, everything everything happened for me the correct way that it should have happened, so I was just super lucky. You have been on this channel for watching for three or four years. Well, <laughs> hello. <laughs> And thank you for uh, stopping by uh, on this six hour long endeavor. I haven't done anything like this before. So yeah, these are just some tiles. Some of them are starting tiles, like these water tiles. These are like starting tiles and these you will be randomly putting around the board and then you will be discovering them. That's the only way you can earn more cards in your tableau, in your deck tableau building, however you want to call it. And there's some end game scoring tiles. And these are like machines that you can have to work for you in, on your player board, which I will show you in a second. And they are wonderful things. So these are like one time ability stuff. And these boxes will give you some extra resources. These are like stuff that you find. Uh, and these will improve your actions on the on the on your board so once you play the card you don't get the, just the resources that card shows but if you match the card color if the card is white or yellow you will get one extra gear from it and stuff like that so that's really really nicely done and uh, we get more of these okay so I guess I'm gonna need that big bag that I showed you previously a few minutes ago for these tiles maybe or I'll just drop them in some of these bags we'll have to see uh, but yeah overall the game is phenomenal everything works uh, as I said it, it looks deceptively like a heavy game it looks like a game oh my god when Slaven started to explain us how the game plays we played at Slaven his copy of the game when he started explaining us how the game works and I was like, when I saw everything, because it, it looks really busy. Wait until you see the board. But most of the board is actually like a artwork and not that much of anything else but the artwork. But once he started explaining the game and I was like, oh my God, this is going to take forever. And actually, uh, it didn't. <laughs> so it was done really quickly. And the game, as I said, is pretty simple. There's a card that explains you everything that you can do on your turn. And uh, these little machines can be activated beside your turn. You can activate also these with those little lightning bolts. And uh, so you can have like more turns than usual because some of these machines will give you extra turn to build stuff, you know, to research things or do whatever. And uh, yeah, uh, everything, when, when it's combined, everything works really great with one another. I, I I should probably now stop praising the game itself. So yeah, I'm just unboxing these because these are all just the tiles that activate stuff. Nothing, I'm not stopping because it's nothing like new or different. Ooh, some more of these blanks that I'm going to save up for the board game that I'm going to create one day. <laughs> That's probably never going to happen, but never say never, right? So yeah, and uh, Okay, 
So these are like, the, there's three type of machines, of course, a green, a yellow, and a white one. And they have their own specific thing that they do. The yellow ones will mostly help you out with the reach because you need to reach certain areas on the map. They're not readily available for you. You can't build just anywhere. You have to pay the cost, you know, for the traveling and everything. So yeah, that's that. And uh, some of them will help you out, you know, to go further with, uh, with less food. And some of them will help you out to make another extra movement, extra turns or whatnot. Or they will give you crystals. A crystal is a unique item in this game. It's like a joker item. You can exchange it for any other item you want. And they can be very helpful. I think they even score you like uh, one point per, per one you didn't spend by the end of the game. Wait, why is there one, two, three, four? Why is there five of these? Is this game for five players? If it is, I would not recommend it playing it in five players. I think the four was like a really sweet, sweet number. Maybe even three. Uh, I believe it works well with two. Uh, not sure, to be honest. But uh, you want like more players, you know, playing and discovering stuff. Even though sometimes it doesn't work your way that... But still... I'm off to sleep now. It's around 11 p.m. here. Have fun. Uh, good night. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know. Uh, I wish I could have stream uh, where the uh, so everyone uh, has uh, like a good time, you know, watching it. But uh, unfortunately, it's not uh, uh, possible. But thank you for stopping by. Thank you very much. Uh, so yeah, we have two more races. We have these like a robot thing going on and these witches with the, actually with the broom and everything. So yeah, and they have doubled the second side, you know, doing stuff as I already showed you with the other ones. So this is a <laughs> waste of cardboard. <laughs> there, there should, they could have included something in here, but okay, you know, they know why they did this like this. So I will not judge them because I don't know. And uh, yeah, some of these artifacts. Okay. And as I mentioned already, these are the player boards. Now, one, two, three, four. There's four player boards. Why did I get five of these? Because you can only have one per board. So. I'm a little bit puzzled, but it is what it is. Okay, so this is basically your player board. And I know it looks like super confusing. I know it looks like that, but it's really simple. You will have tokens that will track, uh, you have three tracks, the yellow one, the green one, and the gray one. And you will move those tokens tracking. And once you reach some of the places, you will uncover the machines. As you can see, this machine can be uncovered if you uh, moved your tracker up to space four but this one if you moved your uh, yellow tracker up to space seven you still need to move to a space three on a gray tracker to unlock this second machine and as you can see you have two like machines for of each for each of the colors and you already start with some of them over here that will give you some of the some of the abilities and uh, these things will be covered you will unlock them and uh, this thing is kept over here. So basically this is like uh, one resource of your choice whenever you want it and you just move it down. And so now it shows red. Now it shows that it's used. And uh, yeah, over here you will track your resources and down here, up here. And when you unlock it on the side over here, you can put some cards because in this game, you really don't want to uh, reshuffle your deck. You really don't want to because if you do it too many, too many times, you will uh, lose some points actually. So you really want to be careful about it and try to stall as much as possible with your turns and everything. And uh, yeah, and you will track your points over here because there will be a bunch of blue discs over here. And every time you remove it because you unlocked something, you will put it here and mark however many points you got. So yeah, and on the other side, there's nothing. And the board itself, the board itself 
looks really cool it has this i will not be able to show you the entire board because i would have to put camera way back up but actually you will just track some you will track your points over here you will learn some stuff while you track your points and on this side uh, each time you have to reshuffle your deck sort of uh, you will be moving on this track and once you go here you will you lose one of these things and you really don't want to you lose these because they can give you like a bunch of points and you will get some crystals over here the map will be built over on the board and uh, this is like a starting area and all that so yeah and oh yeah and the back the back of the map is just gorgeous I'm not sure how much you will be able to see but it looks like a real painting like a canvas painting and not just I'm taking too much time with this one so I will probably not be able to unbox everything and yeah okay so over here it says stop don't touch this punch board until you are instructed to do so so as you can see there is some stuff here these are not like nothing secret uh, but uh, you don't punch these out until you start the campaign and while, while you play the campaign you will unlock some of these things which I find really in intriguing because I think these are just the module that you will be using for play but uh, we'll have to see okay so now we need to repack everything back in the box okay and the rules the rules are pretty fine okay so this was already everything in the bags 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 okay let's see what we have we have this thing over here oh i forgot to throw these guys in let's throw them like this so yeah I hope that this uh, campaign can be played solo then I would definitely do that I would definitely play it solo if it's able so these two I will just keep in the same bag because they are easy to distinguish and you every time you need to like shuffle them a little bit so it doesn't matter if they are not in the same thing going on <laughs> now you need to buy it uh, revive oh yeah you, you <laughs> You need to buy it. Trust me, you need to buy this game. I'm not paid to say anything uh, uh, that I don't want to about Aporta games or this game by itself. But as I said, if if you if you have the same taste, not sure how long are you watching this channel, how long are you following this channel, but uh, if you are following it for some time now and uh, if you have like similar taste in games like i have then i must tell you that you will most definitely want to have this game if you at all like games like i like games and uh, right now i realized i want to do something i want to uh, i want to make uh, each player have its own you know uh, have its own unique uh, bag with all the components and everything so let's see if we have over here maybe four same bags or similar bags now these two are oh wait this one's okay okay so yeah nice we have like four very similar bags so we are going to make a bag for each player so it goes one of these one of each color of these tokens and you need three or four, four of these actually four of these and uh, let's say all the blue components first because I really want to sort it out right away if I'm able as I said we are not going to be able to probably unbox each and every game so if you want to see something next do let me know uh, from the list in a description down below and I will gladly open that up next because the plan is to open everything two and three and four of these and let's put all the yellows and this one guy over here so yeah let me know what you want to see next i was thinking about unboxing flamecraft because i have both extra dragons the miniatures and a flamecraft next 
because I got some extra stuff for it, little dragons and, and the cute resources like the 3D component resources because I kind of wanted. Okay, now I'm a little bit confused. I am not confused anymore. I'm okay now. <laughs> okay, packing this thing up. So it's four of these. It's three of these. I'm not sure how many of these blue everyone gets, but uh, I'll have to check it out. So that's why I'm leaving them for the last. And uh, this one that's extra or something, I'll just be, I'll just put it here with these things and hope. Oh, I know why this is here. Maybe one of those races that you unlock has a space for two for one of them. On, on their own board or something like that uh, I guess so I think it's 20 per player but let me quickly check it out we have 80 progress markers which means that's 20 per, per player so uh, I can work with that 20 per player that's fine that's okay okay let's see 20 per player That's 10, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen. That's ten. Why am I doing ten by ten? Beats me, but uh, it is what it is. Okay. Okay, let's do it like this. Okay, so that's 10 and we can close this bag off and put it soft. And then we need another 10. So that's 5, that's 6, that's 8, and that's 10. And that's 20 for the purple one. We need to kind of find a way for everything to fit inside uh, Daniel I don't know if you are still here but you said you like Aporta games and you haven't mentioned the Santa Maria how is that Twenty of these for the yellow player. Mm. I mean, I like it, but I have played it so much that I kind of don't play it anymore lately. So, unfortunately, but you know, with so many games coming and going, it's just not possible to get all of to all of them. And if I don't play it for some time now, I just kind of sell it away. And 20 blue tokens. Okay. So we got all the tokens, everything. Uh, we need to put... We need to put... Let's take one of these, this bag. I think it's the correct size to take all of these things. And put them like so. Come on, come on. Don't run away from it. Okay. Oh, fits here really nicely. And then for these guys, I'll just throw them in the box. There's really no need to like have them in a bag or something. I think they would not fit. I know this looks like a horror to someone watching this probably, but what can you do? Okay, so revive is done and uh, Flamecraft should be next.
Ah, so you have played Santa Maria. I thought you haven't. And I wanted to tell you, like, you definitely need to play it, man. Okay, let me make a little bit of room on the table because some of these are now unboxed and they are... Okay, so we are streaming, what, for an hour and we unboxed only three games. So, yeah, good luck for us. Actually, good luck for me. Okay, uh, Flamecraft is next. Right, let's see. Flamecraft, will, will these boxes be in a way if I leave them like here? I'll have to see because I have a delay. So yeah, next up we have Flamecraft, but I also have a wooden tokens components and these little dragons that are in color of each of the players. So yeah, uh, let's unbox these first and then we are going to unbox Flamecraft itself. Uh, yeah, I wanted these miniatures because uh, I learned that they are not the part of the box. And I was very much disappointed. How come they are not? Because they look so cute, you know? And uh, so I got them, I bought them and I must say, that I really like how they look. I might even do maybe like a quick uh, painting video on them, like with just two or three simple color paintings. Like there is, uh, there's more than one way to paint your miniatures. There's also like a super detailed way by, but these, these, I think these would be a perfect for, for like, like these uh, super quick paintings where you just use uh, one or two colors and just go quickly over them and paint them and uh, make them look way way better so I'm thinking about it I will probably do it maybe even as a live stream or just as like a quick video of how to how to paint your dragon not how to train your dragon but how to paint your dragon uh, I guess I could like a clickbait view of the things with that title, but uh, yeah, I think I will make a painting video around these guys just because uh, I think they would look really cool. Uh, so yeah, these are the little dragons. If I would have to rank a Porta games, it would be magnificent. Capital looks Santa Maria Automania. Automania is their game. From a Porta games, really? Automania. I have it somewhere. Where is it? It's here. Oh my god! That's an Aporta game. I was not aware of that for don't ask me, don't ask me. People learn stuff, you know, every day. So yeah. Automania and then Bad Company. Only two I didn't like are Trails of Tucana and Offshore. Haven't play, played Trails of Tucana. People kind of had mixed feelings about it, so I kind of never wanted to get it then. But yeah, play Magnificent. I think Magnificent is really cool, but at moments it felt too complicated for me for some strange reason. I'm not sure really why. Okay, so we have these dragons, and I apologize for the noises that created plastic rubbing on the cardboard. It was just awful sounding. And we have... Ooh, we get this many resources. Wow. Should, should I really get two of everything? I thought I would get like one of everything. So yeah, okay. And lots of silica gel that we are going to save up. I'm saving to make a silica gel pool and then dip myself in it and try not to sweat at all. <laughs> no. Okay, so let's move these resources aside and these dragons on this side over here. And uh, I guess I won't be needing this, even though it's like a super cute box, but, uh, you know, recycling. So, yeah, let's open up the Flamecraft. Uh, I have read some reviews, like written reviews of this game. And some people said like, oh my god, there's really no game here. It's super easy game. 
uh, it's compensating with the great artwork the game is not that good stuff like that and i was like how dare you those little dragons don't deserve that you know so yeah flame clark flame clark the rules of play and the uh, rules of play say welcome to the town um hmm. i but oh there is a solo mode which means uh as i can see there's no that many rules explained so i guess i just might play this one solo on the channel i guess that could happen and uh oh these are all the resources the coins and everything i guess that we got in here yeah i didn't get the metal coins i'm not that much attached to metal coins so i kind of skipped on those but uh, what i'm going to what i'm going what i'm going to do about this one because now i have the you know like cardboard resources so i guess i don't need these but i don't want to throw them away so i'll just pack them everything in one bag and just uh, put them aside like i usually do when i upgrade components i just keep them for maybe something else so i'm just gonna punch them all in the lid and then just throw them in one bag the coins i will keep on the side because i need them because they did not come with the with the game the metal ones you need to buy them separately and as i said i'm not that much attached to them so yeah but these i will just punch out as i can see you get a lot of them also so i guess that's why you get two of everything in the box of resources that's fine so let's just quickly unpunch these and hope I don't lose some of them even though I don't need them but I would hate if I would lose some of them you know so yeah, all good coins go here cardboard goes down there so and I will put them everything in this bag over here so okay let's first punch out the coins so I don't accidentally Put them aside or something i don't know Whew. Uh, sorry have to go for it no no man just go your way come on you don't need to apologize i'm here for six hours because i want to be i'm celebrating my six years of having this channel time flies really fast when you are doing stuff like this so yeah from the time I started this channel and from to today I got married I got kid my best man that you can see in those first videos he was there with me at Essenspiel he also got married he also has two kids actually and uh, yeah, so many things actually changed in six years a life changed in six years on so many different levels it's insane so yeah check out all these resources these are all the resources from the game and uh, yeah we are just gonna put everything in this one bag and just keep them somewhere else I have like one box where I keep all the components that I upgrade you know and then I keep all the other components in there so let's just put them all in this bag my god that's a lot of resources oh wow what i see i haven't even looked inside here we get a playmat uh, i just reviewed the trekking through history i uploaded it yesterday actually and uh, i was also pleasantly surprised that they had playmat inside my god check this out oh my god it looks so gorgeous the colors are so vivid it's insane and it's really like long so this game looks like it's a table hog okay let's try and roll it back up so it fits back in the box so not having the board but giving a playmat is something i can get behind 
in a board game future, you know. So I'm all up for it if the publishers want to do that, give you playmats instead of the boards itself because it's it's much easier if you need to pick up stuff from the board you can do it really easily and I like that so we have components for each player little dragons and uh, these hearts that represent points how many players can play this game this game goes up to five players and there's like one two three four five six different okay so there's always some variation I guess and uh, yeah let's see we have some cards in here we have oh that's just the cardboard insert okay so we have some cards these are I think locations that you can visit throughout the game and you can do stuff here make potions and foods pay food lose three cards to gain three or pay two to gain six yeah okay so this looks interesting let's put it where it was it was here oh we get a bunch of little baggies that we actually don't need all of them but we're gonna, gonna probably need some and uh, let's put these dragons here and uh, this let me see something can these dragons fit anyhow in this box maybe if i cut down this because i would really hate to throw this uh, I can throw this out easily, I don't mind, I just need to remove plastic from the cardboard, sorry if that was loud, but this I would like to keep, you know, and uh, if I'm seeing correctly, they would not fit like this, but if I take this out, they would kind of fit inside like this but then the cards would not fit or they would need to go underneath it okay i need to figure out how to fit all this inside here but i definitely want to do that oh some more silica gel so unfortunately but i think i will have to throw this out and this has some artwork on it which is cool but you know ah i can't throw this out i really like when this is like held like this but if i put it like this and then put the cards on top of it like that that means the cards can go on bottom also and you have some more of these big format cards Ryan McLean this game looks so cute I always debate on keeping the non un uh, non upgraded components yeah I mean I keep them I have like a box full of non upgraded components with me okay so these are just like your okay for your dragons and for the solo play and these are probably some of the characters that you can play in a game or something so if I keep it like that and just throw everything else around it like this I think that could work so And now should I keep, no, I will not keep these over here, I really don't need them, so uh, they just go in a bag of, uh, in a box of unused upgrades, <laughs> not unused upgrades, upgrade, uh, upgrade components, how would you call them? I'm not really sure right now, okay, so cards, cards, we need to unpack these, and this knife is a little bit dull, I think I took the wrong knife with me today. I should have brought the one that I'm using for miniatures because that one is pretty sharp. Uh, so yeah, we have some blue cards, we have some red cards, some yellow, so purple cards. Okay, I guess these cards can all go in the same bag. We just sort them so they stack with the same color and everything. There's really no need. And I just think, I think I stabbed a little bit, maybe two or three cards in this pack which uh, I will pretend I didn't see <laughs> so yeah and Daniel is back <laughs> uh, that was fast my friend really really fast okay so we have these I guess some of these are even for solo play I, I could maybe put those in a, in a different bag you know just because solo play 
is not something that I usually use to play games like, you know, solo. Unless they are exclusively solo. And I have a few of the solo games with me, actually, I brought from Essen. So, yeah, let me quickly consolidate with the rule book and see what are the solo components. Artisan Dragon, Starter Dragons, okay. Enhancement, Coin Token, Goose Token, Starter Shops, Shop Cards, Player Aids, Companion Cards, Enhancement Cards in two decks, Fancy Dragon Cards. I actually don't see anything for solo mode that is like specifically from the components. So I'm just gonna guess they can all go on the same stack and you just need to like sort them out. Once you start playing the game and we're going to use some bigger bag for it because all of these bags are kind of small and i think this one will do luckily i have so many plastic bags that i'm keeping them so yeah it fits here really nicely and we just throw it in here like this and uh, i need one of these baggies for the coin resources unfortunately i will have to throw some of the part of the insert out which i was hoping i will not have to do but what can you do right so this one goes to the history because you know even though it maybe could be good for something but i want to preserve the miniatures in in the in the plastic tray I don't know just because if I paint them I know I want to keep them you know as safe as possible and these bags I can pack all of the resources of one type in one bag and just keep the second for something else maybe oh man I have these uh, like little boxes that I could use like those small plastic boxes I could maybe use those to put all of these in them so you know you just take them on the table and like take them out but that means i would have to get rid of this thing over here get rid of this insert so i can put this like on the side over here and then i would have room for everything else but if i do that oh my god should i do that it feels so wrong to throw everything in okay so for now i will not do that just for now but uh, I'm co seriously considering putting everything in those geek boxes, little geek boxes and throwing in, because the boxes and everything would keep this in place, but I like it separated like this. I don't know, it just looks better. Okay. So... We put this in here. Flamecraft. I really, really hope that this game is good because it looks so cute. Whoops. One of the guys doesn't want to go in the second bag. In another bag. I have to check this out. <laughs> or I might just throw a resource out the window. Yeah, as I said. I read some like, oh my god, this game is like so not hard, it's like gateway game, overproduced stuff, you know, I heard, I read stuff like that and, and I know I'm a reviewer myself, so I shouldn't be like influenced by those like types of comments in a way, you know, I still have to like get to my own conclusion what I think about it, but I just can't help myself but think constantly about it now. Is it really is it like... Because I expected it to be like a little bit more on a heavy side, to be honest. This game, at least. Okay, so that was Flamecraft. Oh man. What next? We have Teletum Terracotta Army. Deities from Mandu Games. Mandu Games. Oh, I will unbox that one. Just because I want to give more... Uh, space you know in my on my channel to mandu games because these guys they make some really cool and awesome games that you should definitely check out and uh, their games are like 
super simple with nice components but intriguingly interesting to play i don't know how to explain it but i really like their games kushi express is awesome game um, no swap no pay also one of the fun games where you are exchanging bags and you know that there's some great stuff in other players bags and you are trying to get some stuff from them and try, try, trying to uh, catch up and uh, let's see what is what is this okay so this oh this is the korean rule book yeah this is something i can't read and then we have the english one nice okay so basically you are building some like area stuff around this game uh i just like mandu games so i got to pick get to pick it up and uh check it out it's just i like their games you know that, that's the only reason they were like discovered to me when i first uh, saw them at essen in 2019 uh, as I said, those cute little games like Kushi Express, No Swap, No Pay. Uh, what else did I do? What else did I brought from them? Mm, oh, oh, for, for, I forgot the name of the game. It has a very similar thing going on like uh, the Walled City, which I really like, which is really underrated game. And because it didn't succeed as well, they decided not to put any more effort in it unfortunately to make like new expansions and everything but uh that game is really really awesome right queens from queens was also from them really cool game jekyll and hyde i don't have from them it's fantastic it's a two-player trick tricking game where you don't always want to take tricks uh i already like it because you then you need to like think do i really need this trick right now or should i take it i get it uh oh oh daniel daniel i know you like trick taking games right you really like those games those types of games uh have you ever heard about game from from oink games game called scout if you haven't heard about game scout definitely check it out i think you would really really like that one it's an amazing like a trick taking game where you are trying to get rid of your hand of cards to be the first to get rid of the hands of the cards and you are trying to collect points as you are trying to get rid of your cards it's such an awesome game i was at first super confused about the game like really really confused we all were we were reading the rules we were trying to figure out how the game works and uh, it plays like four turns if i'm not mistaken and on a turn four we were experts we were messing up with each other like like crazy scout check out scout from oink games you 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 will you will like it I know you, you I know you like trick taking games and I think you would really like this one. Oh man, I'm talking so much that my throat is starting to hurt me. Ah, this bottle. And that is really weird because I do like talk a lot. I am that person that uh, if everybody's going to be silent, I am going to talk constantly, probably. So, yeah. Um, just the thing that my throat hurts is really weird to me. Um, heard of Scout, but haven't looked into it much. Uh, I wouldn't say that I like trick-taking. Still have some trauma from Bella. <laughs> <laughs> from my childhood come on bella is great game i love i still love it i haven't played it for like no i don't know like 10 years probably but bella is really cool uh yeah but 
I don't know. Every time we play a game together, every time you bring some game of yours, it's usually one of them is trick taking games. So I kind of figure out you are a trick taking guy. Uh, nevertheless, check out Scout. Uh, it is such a clever game, such a cleverly done. You get the hand of ten cards. You can't rearrange them. That's how you get them. How you get your cards in your hand? That's how you get them. But all of the cards have two numbers on them. So it's either nine or four. It's either six or two. Stuff like that. And when you get the cards, you can either take them like this, or you can rotate them 180 and get completely new numbers, and then see what you have in that hand, because you can't rearrange the cards, and when you play the cards, you play like a poker style, you can play one card, and the other player can play, play also one card, but it has to be like bigger than yours, and then he takes your card, that means he got some points, or he can like play three cards of the same kind, or go in a straight, and you need to... Uh, uh, unbid each other and basically as long as your cards are staying on the table as long as nobody can uh, play better than you they need to take one of your cards in their hand which means uh, they are not getting rid of their hand they are populating their hand with more cards and in the meantime you are reaping the points because every time they take your card in their hand you get points so it's, it's really hard to explain it like this but it is it is great game. It is such a great game. Check out, check it out. I think you would really really like it. Okay, so what we have here, date is everything is set up. Here we have all the components in their bags. I am even deliber deliberating of taking them out of the bag, just putting them in the slots. But uh, I will just leave them be. Uh, we got some resources, some tokens for extra points. We got the bag. And I guess, I guess these tokens and everything go also in here somewhere. We need to put them like this one. Does, does this go somewhere? No. Okay. Uh, what did you say? Uh, I like small box card games. I will check out Scout. Do check it out. And uh, if you don't like it, if it ends up, oh my God, he lied to me. I will buy it off. From your hands I will buy it from you uh, even though my friend has it so I actually kind of don't need it I can always play with I would probably play it with him but still uh, since I, I praised it so much and if I completely missed it if you don't like it uh, I will uh, then buy it from you you just send it my way like you send unlock games my way <laughs> and I will buy them from you uh, also also, I wanted to uh, tell you something. Yeah, uh, Daniel, are you coming in uh, in uh, that uh, that event that's going on in uh, what's the name of the city? I am I am thinking of coming, but uh, I'm really not sure if I'm going to be able to make it there. It's it's in two weeks. It's not. It's next. Saturday, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, what's the name of the place? Wait a second, I have to check it on my uh, phone. Kosak, send it. Uh, the guy from in my box, send it to me. He's he told me about it. He asked me if I will be coming, and I said I will be coming just to uh, show him how the revive is such a great game, and that he completely missed out on not purchasing it at Essen. Uh, yeah, in in uh, in uh, in uh, Siraj, in uh, Firehouse Siraj. No, it's not around uh, Nashice. I think it's closer to uh, some other place. But uh, Siraj is the place. Are you coming there by any chance? Uh, I mean, you don't have to tell me now. But let me know if you are coming, and if we are coming, I will make sure to bring the scout so you can try it out. I think you would really enjoy this one. Okay, so th that was Deities. Deities, Deities, I don't know how to pronounce it correctly. Uh, what are we going to unbox next? Yeah, Siraj, Darwar, that's right, near Darwar. So, what are we going to unbox next? Oak. Oak is going to be next one. Yeah, Siraj near Darwar. Uh, I, I 
think I'll be able to come. I'm not sure if my wife is... Uh, oh, she's not here. Because if you two are writing and I have currently have two viewers, that means she's not here. Uh, she was viewing for a little bit. I guess just to tell me if something is wrong with the stream and everything. Uh, but yeah, uh, if my wife lets me out, because I was uh, at Essen and everything, so it would not be fair to her, you know, to live again for an entire day. You are not going to come. Come on, man. If I make it, you, sh you should definitely make it. Come on, do it. Okay, so we have some promo material. Usually I just throw these out. And we get uh, rule books in all kinds of different languages. I'm always, uh, do you throw rule books that you don't need? Like I only need the English rule book. Do you ever throw these out or you just keep them if you want to sell the game, you know, some people might like want to have the rule book in their own language. To be honest, I hate when rule book is translated in my own language. It's usually very, very horrible translation and the game is like completely unplayable, sort of. So I just don't do it. Okay, uh, we are unboxing Oak. And uh, for this one, I also have high hopes that I would really, really like it because uh, I like game brewer games. And this game is like a worker placement where you can upgrade your workers to, you know, do something differently, be better at some other stuff than others, you know, stuff like that. And I always enjoy when you can do like, can you, you can customize your workers and make them work better on certain locations, you know, like uh, if you send them to the together, they will gather more of particular resource because they are good at it or something like that. I always enjoy games like that because each player, even if you have available all the same things, each player will probably do something a little bit different and you, then you can see how their strategy is panning out against yours. And uh, that's something that's interesting to watch, you know. So this is like a normal edition. It's not a deluxe version of the game, unfortunately. I wanted to get a deluxe, but it was um, pretty expensive in price. But uh, it had like these uh, recessed boards and I like that, but uh, this one does not have that. So I think that might be a small, small issue because you know, you can always bump the board and move the stuff around. I guess this is a blank one for nothing. So I'm just gonna keep it on the side. Uh, you are all welcome. Wait, you you want to tell me that you are one of the organizers of that, if I'm not mistaken. Or have I figured out things the wrong way? Uh, I'm talking to Mirko. Uh, are you organizing that thing or are you also coming so you know the guys and you are welcoming in their name and stuff like that? Because uh, I would bring my wife with me. She occasionally likes to play board games, but uh, we have a little kid with us, you know, and uh, I'm not sure if she would be willing to play board games for the entire day. She would probably bring her outfit and go on a 10 kilometer run or more because she's more into running. Uh, I'm obviously not. Even though, I don't know, I just find running boring. I, I would I would go to a gym if I would make myself I would go to a gym to stay healthy you know if I would gain like too much weight I am a little bit overweight now okay I know I know but uh, yeah running is just boring as hell if you ask me so yeah she would probably bring her outfit and <laughs> run around Sirach and Darwar <laughs> probably uh, yeah and we have a little kid so I think it would be hard to leave it for, uh, it would not be hard for him. He couldn't care less about us. So yeah, uh, I'll have to see. Uh, I'll probably have to promise her, I don't know what actually to, to, to let me go. I mean, it's not like she, uh, it's not like she said, you can't go. So I don't paint the picture wrong. My wife is not like that like that listen she's not like yeah you can't go no she would probably say yeah you can go but you know 
I've been out of the house a lot lately <clears throat> due to the channel, due to the Essen. Essen is like six days she was alone with the kid and uh, he is uh, full hands, full hands, both hands, you need both hands for him. He's now 40 years old and uh, yeah, he's pretty crazy. So uh, it would not be fair of me, you know, to go and have fun while she's at home taking care of the kid and uh, all of his tantrums when he throws them, <laughs> you know, stuff like that. So yeah, what we have here is a bunch of cards that I can't seem to figure out how they relate. Okay, these are like the player cards and these are, okay, so these are somewhat different by some type of something, something. Uh, yeah, this game, you get your workers and you put these little things on them. So that's really funny and interesting. Uh, you are the organizer. Oh my God. Okay, so now I guess I'll have to come. Okay, listen, I will do my best to fill the car with at least four, five of us and we would uh, stop by. Uh, so, but of course, I will not promise you that because, you know, life happens, people have other things to do, so they, they, are, they might not be able to come and all that. So, uh, but we'll definitely try to come. We usually go on events like this. We were completely, we completely uh, invaded the the guy that organizes his like little event. He actually does that for his friends, and uh, I thought he do he's doing like a little bit of an oh more bags. I thought that he he was actually doing like a little bit of an event of sorts, and it was like when we when we arrived there we figure out. He does this mostly for his friends and we, we came with like two cars, 10 of us or eight of us. <laughs> so that was a little bit crazy of us. Oh my God, check out this component. This is like a sundial or something. No, oh no, no. <laughs> I thought that this was like a sundial. Oh my God, look, it's like a 3D component that actually it's just, it was just wedged in here like this. And I guess it was not supposed to be like that. <laughs> so yeah, uh, nothing out of ordinary to check out. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's just pack everything up with the each of the colors. I presume that all of these green will go with these green guys. So we're gonna do it like that right from the start to speed up the process. I recently got places of Carrara. Deluxe from Game Brewer, very disappointed. Yeah, I saw your comment on the Burger Geek that you were disappointed that uh, the components were not that much deluxe as they presented it to be. Which I find really weird because Game Brewer is not known to mess up stuff like that, you know. If they make a deluxe, you really know that it's a deluxe version. With Fujikora, they had like 3D miniature dragons that looked really really cool that had really this different artistic style with this cubed style sort of thing going on and uh, yeah I guess I guess they messed up on that part for some strange reason but uh, I don't know should you forgive them maybe who knows uh, I don't know this game looks fine for the regular game uh, the deluxe version has the indented board and everything. Not sure if that counts as enough for you know to have like something deluxe, you know. But uh, yeah, totally understand. I have two kids, one six years old and one four years old. Oh, then you know everything there is to know about how full handful they can be. I mean, uh, I'm looking for some bag that would store these tokens in, in a nice way. So let's just see what we got from the game brewer regarding bags. Ooh, lots of bags here. Uh, yeah, the kids, kids can be really, really crazy sometimes. I mean, I love my kid, but have I thought about selling him? No, I haven't, but you know, for a split second, if somebody came in and offered me money, uh, and he's now in a really, really like 
phase when he's constantly crying about stuff and demanding stuff and, and asking for different things, you know, and this and that and and, and, and oh, it just, it makes me crazy sometimes. Okay, so I kind of don't like this insert already because the stuff is you need to take out stuff and it's really hard. If I didn't have nails, I could not be able to pick these up. So this might end up going out by the end of the night. Who knows? So yeah, you know everything now about the kids and all, yeah, right? So yeah, but they are awesome when they tell you stuff that you completely don't expect from them. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's a funny story. I don't know if I should tell it on a live stream. My kid needed to poop the other night. I, I had so much laughs. He was so cute in, in his statements. It was just, it was just so funny, hilarious. I just, oh my God, so hilarious. Okay, so let's see. These I can pack up in a bag, some bag like this bag. No, this bag is too big. Like these are a little bit smaller. Let's put them in. Yeah, Gugong and Paris Deluxe are great production. But from what I saw, the production of a Stroganov and Hippocrates were also kind of meh. Uh, I'm not sure. I saw Hippocrates. Somebody at the club brought it. But I'm not sure how was the difference between you know deluxe and the regular version. Haven't saw saw the other version, you know, so I don't know. Uh, but uh, uh, Stroganov also got my attention, but as I said, didn't look for a deluxe version. But the games that I had the deluxe version of their games, they were pretty nice. The deluxe version, so I guess they they mess up from time to time. Not trying to make excuse for them. That's not okay. They shouldn't mess up. But what can you do, right? Maybe just I don't know. Uh, sometimes you think it's like super clear. You know, people would probably people would now say, but you can see the Kickstarter. You can see what the deluxe is, and then you know what to expect. And yeah, but sometimes you are not aware of the stuff. You can't like picture them unless when they arrive and then you see like oh okay so this looks way better than i thought or whoa wait this looks way worse than i thought so yeah that's always a thing and we got some extra stuff i will not punch these out i really don't need them um uh, so yeah i guess they mess up from time to time unfortunately and uh maybe you should send them an email not an angry one but still an email you know like what are you doing why are you messing things up for us get your stuff together and start doing job properly who knows maybe they'll even listen right have you tried <laughs> okay so we have unboxed this one and oh i am looking forward to playing it and see how good or bad it is. From what I saw, it looked really good. Oak. Oak is unboxed. I'm expecting Endless Winter soon. That one should be fantastic production. Slaven bought it at Essen, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I think he got everything for it because he decided he did uh, said he would do like an Essen pickup thing. So I guess that's why he got it before you. I think he also kickstarted it. Or he just brought the copy. I, I'm not sure. Uh, okay. I want to unbox now a game that nobody is talking about for some reason. And to me it looks like a super cool game called uh, Dominations. Where you are building your civilization using this like uh, uh, triangle dominoes thing and this is some special edition so i presume they have some 
extra tiles, maybe some expansions inside. Uh, and I want to see what's the spe what the special edition is all about. So, uh, oh, the, this is a Kickstarter exclusive. So, Road to Civilization. Oh, and we get some stickers to sticker on, which I will assemble and storage instructions. Do I need to sticker stuff now? I really don't want to. I could do that when I decide to play the game, when I decide to read the rules, you know. Okay, Road to Civilization Kickstarter exclusive. Mystery cards, the bun bun bunnyments, bunny monuments. The power of knowledge, mini expansion capitals, domination tokens. What is this? Well, I like it. I already like it. They included something extra in it. And uh, yeah, Road to Civilization. Is this game where you are just building triangles and if you manage to build like different uh, colors match, you can build like these. 3d objects buildings on it and you are trying to score the most points i don't know it's, it sounds like it should have definitely be way more popular than it is for some reason they sold it at essen but uh, you still haven't got your pledge from holiday games both your games also back to encyclopedia from them should also be arriving soon yeah uh i played museum it's actually a fun game well, slavin i think has it with all the expansions and everything but uh, we played like a base game i think only and i also got a t titan from them i unboxed it already make that I, I mean i can't unbox it now there's no room on the table for it but uh <laughs> I unboxed it and it looks pretty impressive. I think it's definitely overproduced, but still, uh, if it's a good game, you know, I don't mind if it's overproduced. Ooh, this looks, oh my God, all of this, check out, these, these are like plastic inserts for, oh, these are like for bunnyments. These have bunnies on them or something. Okay. I hope that there's like somewhere that explains you how the insert works. Everything is punched out, which is really nice. You just have these cards. And uh, hmm, this is interesting. Okay, not everything is punched out, but most of it is. I guess I will need a rule book. And I will hope that they explained how to set all of this up. This is, look, this looks good. You just like take this out and put it on a board and play the game. This is something I can stand behind for any game actually. When they have like these elaborated inserts, they will explain how everything is set up inside. But I don't think that they did it and they will hear it from me. Come on. How should I know what goes where? Ah, oh, come on. I don't, I don't need this. I hate when I need to do this. Uh, oh, wait. <laughs> my apologies. My apologies to the guys in the Holy Grail. Uh, I guess, wait. This says assembly and storage instructions and this is the storage. So yeah, it was really vague. So I didn't understand it right away. So yeah, my apologies. I overreacted a little bit. <laughs> Need to go see you later. Okay, Mirko, thank you for stopping by and uh, we'll do our best to come to Siraj. And uh, I hope that we are going to make it. That would be awesome. Okay, so these are like bunny monuments, I guess because there's a bunny on their box, on their logo. I guess that's why they made it. That's what I presume. So, that's cool. That's really interesting. And 
I need to take these out. Okay, so this game is going to take some time to punch out, I presume, and to sort everything out. As you can see, everything is like in a small boxes. In the meantime, if you want me to unbox any particular game that you are interested in, uh, they are all in the description down below. At most of them, like 99% of them are in the description down below. So let me know and I will unbox those first before anything else. But right now I'm just unboxing as I go whatever I found that's interesting to me. So yeah, as soon as you want me to unbox something else, I will. Okay. Let's just quickly, oh my god, and these tiles, this is not like a, it's a bit thin cardboard, but it has like a plasticky feel to it. I mean, I'm not sure if you can hear this, but this does not sound like cardboard hitting the cardboard. It sounds more like a plastic on plastic, like I'm dealing with the plastic chips. So right from the start, I already like the production. It looks like it's a really good production and uh, that's really nice i'm just throwing these out because i guess they need to be like shuffled for each of the games so i'm just throwing them in so they shuffle a little bit and then we are going to try and store everything in this crazy crazy insert I guess I'll have to sticker everything or I'll just leave the stickers. I'll just now place everything in the correct compartments and the, those stickers I'll apply when I decide to play a game, film a review for it, stuff like that. So I knew, I knew that this will happen. Have I lost something? I don't think I haven't. Huh? Yeah, no, yeah. I don't think I did. Some of the components, I had to be careful. So if I lose some of these standees, I guess we're gonna have a bad time. But they can go further from this room, so I'll find them eventually. Ha. Teleton has a lot of stuff in that box. Ah, in that box. Should take you a while. Great game, by the way. Last game I missed one scoring and thought that would lose me the game, but ended up winning. Uh, which game? Are we talking about uh, Tiletum or Dominations? To which one are you referring to? Oh my God, <laughs> so much of everything in here. What's going on? Okay, this is like... This, this is just too much. Uh, which scoring did you miss? On a Tiletum or on a Dominations? Because if you have Dominations, why haven't you ever brought it with you? And why haven't we played it? Because I was looking to play this game for such a long time. And now, if you tell me you have it, oh, Tiletum, okay, okay. I was already prepared to fight with you. <laughs> Why didn't you bring the game with you? Hey, I'm just kidding. Uh, Tiletum, yeah, I still have to play it, right? Haven't played it yet. Uh, Terracotta Army, I want to paint the miniatures because I think you can do it again in those like super quickly and easy way and make the game look way better. A little bit of spray paint and uh, and one or maybe two different colors so I will find uh, I will be victorious when uh, you Daniel start painting your miniatures I know that will never happen but yeah I, I I set myself a personal goal one time that when you were at the when you were at the, our convention and then you painted miniatures just because your friend wanted to and you kind of didn't enjoy it. So now it's my personal mission to enjoy the painting of. 
Oh boy. Do these have some kind of number? Okay, so I guess I will figure it out what goes with what. So these things, I'll just keep them in one pile. Oh my god, <clears throat> this is going to take forever to punch out and assemble. I think I did a mistake by opening this one first, but uh, I'm going to continue with it. I'm going to stick with it. I am not going to let it defeat me. Okay, so let's first punch them out from the board and then we are going to punch these little small things and try to assemble them. And wait, if I assemble them, where will I be putting them? I don't see where they could fit in a box, especially these big ones. Hmm, so this is going to be a challenging one. flying all over the place <laughs> okay um, <laughs> you probably won't paint minis ever again yeah I figure out I mean I saw how uh, unwillingly you did it but hey you tried it you know you might have even liked it so it's always a good thing right now you know it's not something you enjoy, so I can understand that. There's times when I don't enjoy painting miniatures, but I kind of promised I will paint them. So yeah, right now that my, my, my unmatched series of painting videos, I am constantly postponing painting the T-Rex the and I have never had more people ask me to paint T-Rex it's just because I like want to keep it simple, but at the same time, I know that keeping it simple, that it can look way better if I would just a little bit complicate on it. But I decided to go this route where I just do simple paint jobs, you know, so that people that didn't paint miniatures or, or that are just beginners can look more into my videos as like an inspiration, you know, so they get an idea because sometimes that's uh, why I decided to do that is because sometimes I am looking at other painters just to get me an idea how to paint something. And I realized that lots of these videos are like 40 minutes long or even more, uh, which I'm completely okay with. They do a really nice job in those 40 minutes. They explain everything, each and every step and everything. But I wanted like just, you know, visual information. I don't need all the explanation about the shades and where the light goes and where the color goes and uh, all the different techniques complicated or less complicated ones i just needed some some simple inspiration like paint this blue paint this red paint this white and voila you have a nice miniature so that's why i decided to start with unmatched and uh, once i'm done with the unmatched once they start releasing it uh, i will of course be doing painting i will be painting other miniatures too as i said those dragons from the from the from the uh, flame craft i most definitely will paint because there is a way to paint them like super quick and make them look really cool and just by using two or even three paints per model of course because they are different colors i can't paint them all blue but overall that's the idea to create this fast and uh, interesting, interesting, fast and uh, inspiring videos for people to paint with. And uh, so far, I think I did really good because I got lots of positive comments on Unmatched. There's also some negative comments like, oh my God, this is such a basic job. My grandma would paint better. No, that was not on Unmatched. That was on another one of the painting miniatures, but like i'm like okay thank you whatever that's only your opinion that you are obviously not my intended intended 
people that I'm aiming for. So yeah, uh, I would rather play the cockroach game again. <laughs> yeah, you really disliked that one, and I loved it so much because it was just so late. It was like what two in the morning, something like that, and we were all exhausted. We were playing for what fourteen hours straight. So that was insane, insane amount of time. Uh, is the T-Rex tipping all, all, all the time? Yeah, it is. No, you don't have the faulty one. Everyone's T-Rex is tipping over. It's not well, well balanced, like the Thanos would said, like all things should be. So yeah, unfortunately it's not good, good, uh, goodly balanced. Oh my god, the English. It's not well balanced. I was thinking of maybe putting a little bit of lead or something in its base, you know, in its downside. So uh, maybe that would like keep him a little bit heavier on the base and everything, but I think it would still tip over. So unfortunately, I guess we are uh, stuck with the tipping T Rex until something happens. I don't know, maybe make a custom base for it, you know, make a custom base and just uh, like, I don't know, like, um, how do I say it, like make it a little bit wider, his base, you know, so it doesn't tip over on, or, or just on the one side, I don't know, but then why should we do that, the, it, this should not be happening at all, at the first place, at first place, so yeah. It is how it is. Also, oh, okay, I can't. <laughs> I almost spilled some beans that I can't spill. So, yeah, moving on. Nothing to hear from me. I almost said stuff I was not supposed to. Uh, yeah, I guess that this castle thing is going with this thing over here. Now, where will I keep this one where would i put it in a box so it doesn't like you know i'm really really puzzled do i really need to disassemble all of them after each game because if i have to i will be pretty mad because this will not last long maybe that's why nobody's talking about the game the people can't believe that they have to disassemble all of these things every time they finish playing the game. <laughs> nobody will know. Yeah, basically, will nobody will because there's no many people watching this. But uh, yeah, um, I can't. I can say I was. I promised I will not say. But uh, I was shown the new unmatched set at Essen, uh, the Genie versus Houdini. And I was also shown something else that might be connected with uh, with the the mentioned game, uh, but that's as far as I can go without getting in trouble. Because you know, I want them to tell me again when they have something to tell me. So <laughs> I kind of bled. This is the, I think this is the first time in six years that I actually know something in advance that was not probably shown to that many people. And it kind of felt a little bit like I'm proud about it. So yeah, but it, it's not like, whoa, my God, that your mind will blow out if you knew it, but still, it will be uh, known, I think, next year. If I remember correctly, if they told me correctly. So yeah, it's not that far away. It's like two months, maybe a little less, and you will know everything I know. Okay, so this guy, I presume, goes in the sea. And uh, if I'm really going to have to, like, okay, these are assembling pretty hard. The cardboard is constantly warping because not everything fits like perfectly one-on-one. -on -one. And uh, 
these once I assemble them, I assemble them, I am fully expecting them to fit somehow in the box. Because if they don't, if I have to do this every time, it's not going to be good. It's not going to be good at all. Because these will like destroy themselves. But they look really cool. Like and when you put them on the map, they will look like really cool. Like in 3D. Genie versus Houdini. Uh, is it some unmatched news? Yes, it is uh, uh, regarding unmatched. And uh, yeah, uh, uh, Genie versus Houdini definitely looks awesome. Not just awesome, but freaking awesome. Uh, unfortunately, they didn't have it for sale. Otherwise, I would buy it right away. But uh, they had like the just, you know, the demo copy of it. And I was browsing through some cards, reading some abilities. So they sound really fun, different, unique, like all of the characters do. And uh, yeah, I told them I will probably come on Sunday and steal it from them because I can't wait it. For it to come to Croatia sooner uh, if it was now here it would be too late you know uh, but yeah they said like yeah you can't steal it so you can just try to steal it but we won't let you and I was like yeah just ask me <laughs> stuff like that yeah we had a little bit of friendly banter and uh, there's the pyramids and I have no clue on what should go here what should go okay so i guess this pagoda or whatever it is this thing okay so this game is going to take forever to unbox uh only new set that's coming that i know of are marvel for king and country yeah the two marvel sets but it's not about that uh th these are also they just announced them so they were not available like i think there were there is no like a demo copy produced for it or anything so yeah okay so i was thinking that this thing is probably going here but it looks like it's too small for it so that's not probably it something else goes here but this one probably goes hanging gardens is this hanging gardens how should i know what is what i mean i should have probably know how the hanging garden looks but everything looks the same to me now wait let me check out the rule book if there's explanation for all of this okay so i'm stuck with this game now i guess this will be most of the stream Monument stand is 12 of them, but can you explain it to me? What are they in a 3d like can you show it to me? Oh, okay, so I, I saw a picture over here of one of them So now I know for sure That this one if we if we eliminated if, if we eliminate it from the play that means that there's a less room for error uh, yeah mm -hmm. okay so this one goes in this slot okay Okay, so that's that. This one, I still have no clue where it should go. <clears throat> the necro... Oh my god! They are pictured on the back side of the monument. Okay, so Jesus. Have I done everything correctly so far? I presume I have. Yeah, I have. Okay, so they are pictured for everyone <laughs> who was watching this stream for like two hours or so. Uh, it's pictured on the other side, so you know where it, what goes where. So, House of Crane. The House of Crane goes here. Uh, I'm currently watching The Boys TV show. Unmatched, The Boys would be awesome. 
I tried to watch it, but I kind of lost interest in it pretty quickly. I don't know. I, I, I don't say the show is bad. I just don't think it's the show is for me. And if you ask me what show I would like to see, you know what, what, my, what my answer would be. If I would say any one TV show, which one would I say? So, yeah. But that's probably not ever going to happen because of the license. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe there's a license issue or maybe they think that there is no that many interest in it. But, uh, yeah, uh, what I'm talking about is uh, uh, Stargate, of course. If they ever decide to make a Stargate game, I will pay them any amount of money to be part of that Kickstarter, to have the game. I will do anything to have a good Stargate game. I know that there were Stargate games. There was like one board game and one trading card game, both super awful. I haven't had a chance to play them, but uh, from everything that people said, they sound like really, really awful games. So I'm not sure why can't they make a good game, you know, like a good dungeon crawler type of game with, with miniatures and everything for, for Stargate. Wouldn't that be awesome? Stargate, of course. <laughs> yeah, you guessed it. So, yeah. Unmatched Stargate. You have like Jack O'Neill and Gould. Or, or, or all four, even though Unmatched doesn't work in that way, but if you have all four of them in one box, like it was like big box, because they were a team of four and everything. But I guess it would be dumb. Actually, it would be good uh, like to have like Jack O'Neill and then three of them like would be his sidekicks, you know. And the, uh, they, they could have like psychic, psychic that every psychic has its own ability. That's something that they haven't did so far yet. Yet, yet with the sidekicks, if I'm not mistaken. You never watch Stargate. No, I can hate you about that, but you should definitely watch it. I like it just because uh, the the show is set on earth in today's time you know okay not today but in 2000 when it was released so that's what i liked about it not everything was happening on the goddamn ship stuff was happening on the planets on all kinds of different planets different races you know that's what what i liked about it and that's why nobody should watch the last in the uh last series of that uh, stargate universe thing that you should not watch uh, trust me, that's a horrible, horrible mistake. Uh, but uh, everything else is uh, Stargate Atlantis, uh, Stargate SG-1 is something you should definitely watch if you like. If you enjoy SF series shows, because those shows were awesome. And the uh, main character was so great, that Jack O'Neill character. He was so funny and so crazy, so witty witty it, it's just i don't know i can watch it any time of the day it's the best of the star shows you know you have stargate star wars star trek stargate is the best star show whoa see this is what i'm talking about okay so this one just because it's so tiny it just crumbled on its own See, I almost destroyed it. <sighs> I hate when this happens. So now I have to be like super careful with it. Because if I destroy it, I will be the necropolis. I will be very much nervous. And again, I don't know how we should keep all of this. in the box how does it all fit in a box it is beyond me but i am going to stick to it and hope that i if i have to disassemble this after every game and assemble them before every game oh i'm going to be angry uh, i mean if this was like a plastic components maybe it would be okay you know because but it's, since this is cardboard, it's way easier to destroy it with constantly. 
assemble disassemble assemble disassemble and uh, that's something i'm not a fan of destroying my volumes well again one of those that just won't budge in and oh, come on of course i shaped it a little bit okay so let's just hope it survives my god okay this game is already giving me so much stress that that's just that's not good for me Okay, this is the almost the last one. It's just this and one more, and we are done. So, come on. Of course, he doesn't want to fit inside like he should have correctly. Okay, so this is almost the last one. I've been doing this for how long now? <laughs> just four more hours, chill, just four more hours to go. Yeah, almost like that. Come on. I'm really. Usually I unbox games like a few hours before I'm going to play them. So luckily for me, I decided to do this on a live stream you know so now I can prepare it before otherwise this would probably not get played if it was if I was unboxing it a few hours before the game oh man okay so done <laughs> okay we are done with uh, unboxing and everything uh unboxing uh, assembling but now we need to figure out how does all that fit in a box and i guess we need to sticker the stuff so let's move these aside let's take come on these okay we have the builders so i guess this is that small expansion thing so i'm just gonna no this is i guess that that's the, one of those little expansions okay let's see these rabbits how do these rabbits combine okay so this one goes like this yay little rabbit statue <laughs> and then this one goes with this and the big one fits in here like so and then we have this huge guy with these two little thingies assembling themselves like this right right it looks like it should have been like slated into something else you know with this this and this but i haven't saw anything that remotely looks like it could be used have i thrown out something that i shouldn't have
אוקיי. אוקיי, אוקיי, אוקיי. Let me just quickly check out. Have I thrown something that I shouldn't have? So, I only got this. And this was punched up. Yeah, it's, I guess it just stands like that. Okay. Okay. And where should I put all the monuments is beyond me. All the monument components, bases and standees are punched out and placed in E. In E. In here. What? That can be. Wait, I'm looking it wrong. Wait, wait, I'm looking it wrong. It has to be box, it has to be turned like this. Okay. In E. So all of these things over here, you probably can't see it because I'm here in, in this side, but all of them should be, oh my God. Hello guys, hello Daniel. What are you unboxing? Hey Matko, uh, currently we are unboxing Dominations. Actually, I'm having trouble to figuring out where everything goes because there's a lot of things to assemble to you know uh but so far we unboxed like few of the games and we have a lot more to go <laughs> have you played any of lacerda games i'm thinking about getting weather machine that would be my first game from lacerda i only played that one where the cops are chasing you plan something plan uh but uh I think it, that one is on the easier side. I haven't played any el anyone any else of his games, but I definitely plan on to in the future. I know that Herway has some of them. Okay, so these are all here, and I need to sticker them, which I won't be doing now. This is uh, like uh, really not something that I want to do now. Okay, so next up says square cards. So we have a two bunches of square cards. And uh, some of them are separated. I guess these are like that little promo expansions that came with this box, but says separate all the mastery cards into their six respective domains by color. Mastery cards have their fonts and black backs. On the back, they are black. white wow, white fonts they have white font and black back is this the master card like is this what the hell okay so it's this and we have a bunch of these cards so let me just quickly open the rule book escape plan that's the name of the game right escape plan mastery cards 288 cards okay so we have a bunch of mastery cards uh, six respective domains six respective domains i presume that they are thinking about colors and yes they are thinking about colors like uh, yellow green purple okay okay and we need to put them where uh, you may then place all, uh, wait a second. For each domain color, take one of the transparent card holders. Oh, so that's these guys. Wow, that's really cool. Okay. And place all cards of value three in the large slot, value six in the middle slot, and value nine in the final slot. You may then place all six holders back in the box B. Okay, so these are the holders for different cards, and I just need to now like take them by the color and by their cost if I understood correctly okay this is going to be this is going to be tough but we are going to do it no matter what 
Okay, so these all are purple that cost three, right? So they are purple and they have cost in the large slot that are costing three. They go in a large slot. And then we have value six and nine, but these are nine red, but it has purple cost on them and red cost on them and orange cost on them. Oh, I guess, I guess the purples are somewhere else also. Okay, so uh, this, these are going to be purple. These are going to be red. Okay, red nines. Red nines go into the... Value nine goes here. Then the value six goes in a middle slot and the three, so these are all sixes. Okay, okay, I got it, I got it. Uh, really like coffee traders, so thinking about getting it more heavier, getting more into heavier games. Also baked Septima from, ah, backed, <laughs> sorry. Uh, uh, that will be my first game from them. Uh, really? Mind Clash games and that's your first game. It's not Anachrony. I am disappointed in you. I think you never played Anachrony, right? I think we were always talking like, yeah, man, when you come over, you're going to play Anachrony with me. And I think we never did it. Or have we? Okay, so uh, I need to put some more of these three cards here. Then we have the nine of the orange color that goes in this thing over here. Uh, yeah, regarding Septima, I have not backed it, but Slaven did actually. That's why I skipped on it. But I definitely want to try it out because, you know, I like Mind Clash games, Anachrony, you know how I am about it, so I'm really looking forward to see Septima and what it's all about. It looked like an inter interesting game, and I'm hoping it is. So, are these like red three? Are these are like the same color? Oh, they are actually. Ooh, whoops. Wait. Oh my god, these are like red three and these are all like purple three, which need to go in here. I'm messing things up left and right. So right now I'm thinking that these will fly all over the place right now as these doesn't look like a promising insert for these types of cards, but uh, we'll have to see. We'll have to see what happens haven't played the necrony and now now i'm getting angry come on man how we haven't played the necrony yet promise me next time we see each other you're gonna play a necrony with me i am willing to spend a few hours of my time playing the best game ever with you and whoever joins us because that game is freaking awesome you have to try it out. Then you will understand why I like Mind Clash games. Those guys are insanely good at the games that they're doing. Although I the one the one the one with the magic thing, I always my, always forgot its name. It's not magnificent. It's now magnificent in my head, but I know it's not magnificent. That one for some reason we just can't fell in love with whatever I do. I played it like three times. Each time, it's okay game, the mechanics are good, but they're just not captivating to me. They're just missing this little bit, you know, to hook me for real. So, yeah. Unfortunately, but that one did nothing for me. <laughs> I promise. Yeah, okay. I really want you to play an Akron. I think, I think you would appreciate it. Maybe don't like it, but you would appreciate it. Okay, so they say once we did this, we can return them back in the box. Like that. Okay. Oh my God, sorting this game out. 
maybe that's why it's not so much popular because sorting it out takes a huge amount of time actually campfire cards can be stored in C A hey, wait wait A C and C so these are I presume campfire cards because they have campfire on them so let me just quickly check out the rule book the rule book says campfire cards four of them go over here monument level cards square cards with a golden triangle it's this one on the back may be separated into sets and placed in the slots all of these slots and what are the sets the sets are i presume by the color or how much colors how many different colors do we have one two three four five six colors one two three four five six spaces yeah so i guess it's colors so it's by the colors and I will continue unboxing I just need to sort this out I apologize for this taking so long but it is just this game is really I'm so surprised how much sorting is it is in there and uh, yeah and like this and like this and sorting this out and oh my god there's so many yeah and blue and red I think I did everything correctly okay monuments all the monuments components bases and standees are punched out and placed in E so this place here should keep all the monuments inside uh, okay let me just put that so you can see it so all of these somehow need to be fitted in here and this one even doesn't fit in here so I am currently I can't say if I'm angry or am I disappointed or 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 what but this will not fit here in any way or shape or form possible and if I have to disassemble these each time that that's not going to happen but what I can do is I can maybe set it up here like so you know so I can throw them in like this around the box even though that was not intended you know this thing doesn't fit in here and if I put it like this it's sticking out a little bit so this will inevitably get damaged okay I am I am super confused how did they think do, did they really think that people will disassemble these every time and assemble them because they will get destroyed in an instant and right now putting them putting them like this i mean it's insane but it's the best i can do and just throw them around the box and hope for the best that's my idea for now okay so all of these cards we have a bunch of these cards i presume that they are all going up here in here however yeah like in here like so and i still haven't figured out let, let's say this one maybe goes over here like this and then this one can go on this side maybe like that wait a second like this and then i can just throw these in like so and then put this one something like this and hope for the best oh my god this is insane this is not how how this should be assembled oh and we have these three rabbits to put somewhere maybe here although they will not fit 
okay but i can disassemble them and this one the fourth one so they might be disassembled uh i'm not liking this so far i really am not but uh i'll stick with it i'll just be polite and hope that everything else doesn't need to be like fitted like that okay so these i presume they you just that you just throw them in like this and try to mix them as much as possible so you get the variations going right from the start i mean i like what they did like you just take this out of the box put it on a table and you can play with it i like that that's really great but this thinking outside of the box to make it everything fit so everything fits that's just something uh, i absolutely am not a fan of i guess i'll have to check it out on the Borgin geek if other people said something about it i mean i would hate if that would be the reason that the game did not like succeeded you know because people were uh, too upset with uh, the storage solution and everything but you know people are weird so it's not excluded that it's something along those lines so who knows i know that tom vassell really really disliked the titan also game from them just because of the storage and production of the game itself he really ranted about about the game and gave it like a low score of four just because of the components or something like that he was really mad and um, is it justified or not i would not go into it i don't think it is i don't know everybody has their own opinion right so i'll have to see it for myself how hard are they to assemble and disassemble to be the judge if that is the good or bad thing uh, also all of these little expansions and stuff i'll just throw in a in a baggie until i figure out the base game itself and then i'll figure out the exclusives so i'll just keep them in a baggie like this and like this and uh, we need to put tokens somewhere a lot of tokens for each of the players i presume so Luckily, we have a lot of few small baggies. Uh, you think that Tom really likes the... I, I believe I saw his review where he was like talking good stuff about it. But as you can see, these things really fit in here in a wonky and a weird way, which I don't know. And really, trust me, you don't want to assemble and disassemble them every time you play. It's not like we, I'm going to play it five times a day, and so I have to disassemble and assemble it each time. But still, you know, you want the commodity of just picking up the lid and starting to play the game without much fuss or anything. So, yeah. Uh, everything kind of fits except these bunnies. So, I'm just going to put their stand is in uh, like these parts i'm going to put it in one of the baggies and so they don't so i don't lose them because i guess there are like some funny promos for the game kickstarter exclusive as they said and uh, i'm not sure if i want them in my game because then the game lose its charm to me a little bit because you know I want this game for what it is it's a game about building monuments and uh, stuff you know come on fit inside somehow <laughs> okay i think we are done with this game oh my god this took like four hours as you said <laughs> And I will sticker it later. I will not do that now. It took way too much time. And we have a box fart.
Coincidentally, that was supposed to be the name of my channel when I started this channel. Uh, there's a little bit of trivia if you are watching. Uh, when I first was thinking about the name, what the name of uh, my channel would be, it was supposed to be a box fart reviews and <laughs> or just box fart and I would make the box like that sound uh, that would be my intro I would like make a sound with like farting sound with the box for each my intro each, each int intro for each video would be part of the box of the game that I was reviewing or stuff like that so <laughs> yeah which might not be possible for all the games because some of the expansions come like in little boxes that are just like cardboard stuff so yeah yeah he really hated titan really really hated it ah got some water okay next up we are going to unbox something that's really interesting decorum uh, if I was not doing what I was doing now for the living, I would probably seek a job in like an interior decoration. Uh, I'm not saying that I'm good at it, but it's something that always interested me. And this game is, is about decorating rooms with different color drapes and everything. And it's sort of like a cooperative game, but everyone has different goals. Like some of the people would like living room to be painted green, others would like the living room to be painted blue, but uh, drapes can be like in a red color and everybody agrees on that. And you are trying to, it's basically a puzzle that you are trying to figure it out without telling exactly what, what you have to do. And uh, it sounded interesting, it sounded really different, so I decided to check it out. <laughs> that would be a good name for a publisher, Box, box Fart Games, yeah. Uh, <laughs> next time somebody asks, like, what should I name my company? And you just like, name it Box Fart. Uh, this is, I must say, uh, really interesting. Right from the start, you know, usually there's a cover on the rule book, but in here it starts with the quick start guide, which is really cool, actually. It explains you how to start the game from, like, really fast. And uh, that's something different and interesting. And yeah, basically, you are putting stuff in a room, like different, you are uh, decorating the room and you are trying to, uh, for everyone to have the, like the goal they want and stuff like that. So uh, do not open until scenario 12 of the two player campaign. There's a two player campaign in here. Wait a second until scenario 15 of the two player wait there's a campaign play in it i guess i know what slaven and i will be filming on my channel uh where's the two player campaign glossary three and four player rules oh my god i was not aware that there is a two player campaign Ending the game, player turns, ending the game, scoring, three and four player rules. So wait, basically it explains you the game for two players, right? Slightly differently between two players and three. The two player game is a campaign of 20 scenarios meant to be played in order. There are 10 standalone scenarios that can be played in any order with varying difficulty. Oh, so there's a, like a scenarios going on and I already like it. Okay, so do I punch out and keep this board or do I just punch these out? Wow, I'm not really sure now. But these that don't look like something you would keep. Okay, yeah, most definitely. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, nicely done, but I think you don't have to keep these just these things so we should found a publishing found, <laughs> found 
a publishing company both against a first game will be your World War Two game. <laughs> yeah. Uh, or how uh, is your design going on the Vault Wars? No. Did I remember correctly the name of the game? The one with the dice and the combinations that you are trying to unlock. That we completely broke when we were playing it in four players. Have you uh, managed to redesign that part to work better with four players? While we are speaking about game designing, you are way ahead of me. Mine is still just a concept in my head. are really nice components really cool oh, so much cardboard operation vault haven't <laughs> touched it since <laughs> yeah that's the thing that's the thing I constantly toy with this idea in my head about the game and everything, but once you need to put it on a paper and start doing something about it, then I'm like, nah, next time maybe, man, I can't right now, I'm doing this and that, and... Mm -hmm. Okay. Walls and modern antique, uh, I'm not sure what I'm seeing differently, but I see stuff differently. Okay. And uh, we have this player board, okay. And uh, happy son, high fives all around. We're so happy you're happy with your new game. To help spread your joy, feel free to share, flex, and banter with the USB. Yeah, that's this is really cool addition, like something unique. We want to bring joy back to your table. Let us know how we can help. Seriously, we love helping floodgate games. Well, that's interesting addition to the box okay so these are just like their promo stuff and this is want more decor get the free decor mobile app to unlock a never-ending stream of new scenarios we can have nice things well that's really cool okay so these are i presume the scenarios I was not aware that this is like a scenario based game and I'm not sure why wasn't I aware of that so these are all for two players and oh there's a lot of them I'm not sure I will be playing these with Slaven because I don't think we can commit to 20 videos on this channel just about one game. I think people would get fed up with it. Uh, I have a lot of ideas for games, but working on them is the hard part. Yeah, maybe if you make it your job, you know, just like commit yourself for now. I'm going to, okay, we got one little heart with silica gel in it, so we're just going to remove the silica gel and get it for other stuff. Uh, just a second, I have some messages. Okay, to get, okay, I need to bring some food home later. And, uh, okay. Uh, yeah, we got one heart. And uh, all these tiles and everything. Does it say where, where things go? I guess I just throw them inside. But now I'm really interested in these 20 games. But how? I can't commit to 20 games. So that's going to be a tough thing to do. Okay, so these are back and forth, give and take, take your time, strange bedfellows, 
and pillow fight so these are all scenarios for four players okay this now is taking an interesting turn i really want to know more and these are also for four players or three or these are i i see some stars on the you see these stars i guess that's how heavy or or easy the games are you know to win it because now i'm wondering is this game replayable once you play it is it replayable i guess we'll have to figure it out on its own uh by playing it right so yeah these are all the scenarios and everything uh, we get some baggies for components which we are going to put can this fit over here can this fit over here it can fit over here nicely okay we got this one heart which i have no idea what it is for but i'm just gonna put all these little things in here and just throw it in here and then just take all of these I guess we are going to get some more components in these uh, envelopes that will go here and here because I don't see where else would I put it. Why should this wells be here? So this one goes here and then just, I don't know, let's take one of these and just put these aside. Or something else okay now I am even more intrigued to learn about this game because of these scenarios I think this might be one of the first games I will try next maybe even tomorrow yeah I don't I don't have time to read all the rules by tomorrow but yeah that was the quorum a really different and interesting game uh, at least I think it is I have high hopes for it and also I want to know more about these boards I see that they give you some decor thing under the light ah. okay I'll need to find somebody to commit to play 20 games of decorum with me like uh, on a game night you know we just sit down and play the quorum game by game by game and try to figure it out okay that was dominations the quorum oak let me just move them from the table on the shelf because i need more space Man, that's a lot of games to unbox. I presume, as I figure out, we are not going to have time to unbox all of them. But uh, I want to check out a few of these little games that I have. So I'm just going to open a few of the little games up just to see what they are all about. Okay, so I have these few little games that I want to show you. Uh, first one, which you will most definitely see a gameplay on my video on my channel because it's a solo game. It's called the the Dead Eye, and it has this really shifted look. Uh, the guy told me that you can actually use those like regular red and blue 3D glasses to play the game, but you really don't have to because the artwork itself works okay. So you can just look at, at the normal because it, it has this retro feel to it and I'm really really liking it. So it's a solo game so I don't know much about it. Uh, I guess you get some black envelopes. I guess something is inside. Yeah, some tokens. Okay, so I will not open this until instructed, I presume. So let's just keep it closed. Um, well, yeah actually if you have like 3d glasses you could see this in 3d possibly uh, they said that it might even work 
through the camera actually uh, so I don't know I guess I'll get I'll have to find where I can get those 3d glasses and just uh, probably find them somewhere online because I don't believe they provided me one in the box buckle up your red suit fire up the rig beware the talks the dead eyes adventure card game for one player so yeah it's an adventure card game for one player Ooh, I get the, the 3d glasses I guess okay I need to check this now if it's working and how it is working wait where are my 3d glasses do I get them components it says 3d glasses but I don't see them anywhere are they in one of these oh wait are these 3d glasses inside oh, okay so these are 3d glasses inside and yeah i get i got three of them so, okay so yeah we need to figure out we need to figure out i i know i know how to figure it out i need to see for myself is it really working is it really can you really i, I probably can't show it to you over the camera you know because i can't cover the camera with uh, both of them the red and blue and so let me just check out that there's nothing beneath these cardboard things yeah there's nothing beneath just a space for cards and uh, yeah that is the gameplay explained and uh, then there's these cards and as you can see you can see everything it looks really retro and all that but uh, if you have 3d glasses then you can see this in 3d now my brain doesn't recognize a 3d I tried being in a 3d cinema and I didn't see anything so just for you now I will look super stupid with these glasses on and try to see oh my god this is so cool this is actually freaking cool the cards are actually in 3d oh man wow okay okay so this game if you have 3d glasses and you're probably watching this in 3d you uh, you uh, with the glasses you would probably also see a 3d but uh, yeah okay i will oh i need to learn more about this game i need to learn more about this game i am oh my god everything is in 3d this is in 3d everything is in 3d come on So cool looking okay okay I saw enough I saw enough that I know I like it <laughs> uh, Wow you can actually see a 3d on the cards not that you need to but still you can see wow and I need to put my regular glasses so I can see stuff uh, okay so I wanted to check that out there's a little comic in here probably that explains everything so uh, the rule book looks pretty easy so yeah some gameplay is coming probably soon on this channel regarding this and uh, yeah that's what I wanted to show you some of these smaller games uh, the one I'm super excited about Daniel, you probably know also a lot about it because you played it with me. Is uh, expansion for Dystopia, that small little aggressive game that's like super PvP, but it lasts for really like ten minutes, so it's not that of a problem because you know in ten minutes you are done with it and uh, you can then play another game of something. But yeah, Crashing Waves is the next expansion for it, for Dystopia. And uh, yeah, you get some scoring sheets, you get some rules in few different languages. And we get another silica gel that we are going to put aside. And uh, what else, what else? Uh, we got some cubes, some more of these dice. Ooh, really nice translucent cubes. 
uh, tokens for using special abilities, but we already had these. I guess they give it to you because hey, a lot of new characters, if I presume. Let's see what we have in here. So the bunch of new characters, I presume there's a solo mode or something, crashing wave stock exchange. What is this? Why do we have? Oh, that's like in all bunch of different languages. Okay, okay, so we have that. I already like it very much. Whatever I see, I see that is this for one more, more player, so it can go now up to six. If that is the or five, not really sure what was the maximum number of players back then. Uh, but yeah. So you get another board that is doing something that I need to, of course, read and learn. But overall, okay, so this and this can go here and this we can already unbox. And uh, I think I'll play this pretty soon because, you know, I kind of like Dystopia. It's really fun game. It's super mean. It's a game I would should definitely not be liking, but I do for some strange reason. So yeah, this is the next expansion installment. I guess I can't keep everything in one box anymore. Oh my god, I drank all my coffee and I'm sleepy and we still have to stream for only three more hours. That's easy. Uh, next one I have is a mind bug and this is if I'm not mistaken a game that was uh, created by the creator of magic or something like that right Richard Garfield so the rules are pretty simple it they're super small text if I was not wearing glasses I would probably not be able to read this but okay, I also got some promos card with it. The Macaw Dragon and the Unicorn. It's like a unicorn dragon thing going on. And all you get is this set of cards and you are battling one another trying to figure out who's better. Who's better mind bug. Uh, so yeah, that's all there is in this one. I see some cards repeat, which is okay. I guess I thought this would be like a unique deck of cards, but yeah, it is what it is. Okay. Not sure how it works. Haven't read much about it. I just know that uh, it's mind bug, mind bug, mind bug. Oh, so these are different. These are something. So yeah, that's mind bug. There's no much, nothing much to show, but uh, I think this one will be super interesting. I expect a lot out of it. So yeah, yeah, this was a mistake doing it like this. Okay, uh, okay. Mind bug. Okay, so I got these two games from Funko Games. I don't know much about it, but you get little miniatures. You get little Boba Fett and little Iron Man. So I guess that's cool. And these are like, uh, uh, as they told me, it's like Uno, but with a twist, which doesn't have to be bad. Usually those games tend to be bad, like it's Uno. But with a twist and then it's and it ends up to be like it's the uno nothing else but uh, this one uh, i guess the miniature is here just for the like you know so you buy the game and it's really hard to get it out it's really in there 
I'm afraid I will break it. Oh, but it looks so cool. Little Funko. Iron Man thing going on. So basically, it's something like Uno with the twist. You can upgrade your cards. It says on the box here. Like, oh, we have some rules in here. We don't have... Have the uh, match cards to get special powers. So, yeah. That's what you want to do in this one. You want to match the same cards to get special powers. And this knife is so dull. It's insane how dull it is. So, yeah. I don't know much about it, but I wanted to check out the artwork. I think it's pretty basic, pretty simple artwork. Nothing like that will blow your mind. But I like the idea of upgrading your cards. So, I guess if I collect like Black Panther or something and then something happens and i believe there's cards here that explain you yeah like this you know see like uh if you get some of these pairs or whatever it is like if you get 358 you will get some special ability or something so it sounded interesting sounded different like super easy to understand so we'll have to see um, also the one with the with the star wars team i presume has a little bit of different rules itself so i guess we have to open it up to see what it is all about but i don't know much about it so yeah as i didn't know much about this one Okay, so next up is a little Boba Fett. My God, he looks so cool. I, hmm, now I'm thinking, can you combine these maybe? Can you combine it in like one big game? That would be interesting thing to see. Like the Funko miniatures, I might take them out of the box, just keep these in like deck or something, deck box. Or something and just kind of wanna, you know take them out I think I could leave these in a in, in our club so it looks like a good intro game for you know when new people arrive that are not that much into board games like we are so they want to start with something easy you know you don't want to scare them with an attorney on the first day <laughs> uh, Uh, you had to uh, had to step away for a while. Yeah, it's okay, man. It's okay. Uh, you missed the part where I showed the game that you can play with 3D glasses. And you don't have to play it with 3D glasses, actually. But there is an option, of course. So, uh, rewind a little bit, then come back when you see it. It looks insanely good. But it's a solo game, unfortunately. So, these cards are kind of glued up together. I guess they were in a warm place or something so they kind of stick together yeah but as I said these are like uno inspired cards where if you manage to connect few things you will be able to like get combos and do different things so yeah, this would not work because they require special cards from the, like this special i guess you can't combine them but i'm not sure but the powers look pretty much the same just the art is different or 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 they are not some of them some of them are the same but some of them i think are unique because why would you or maybe they're all the same now i'm really not sure but still uh sounds different i will definitely check it out uh and report back if they are any good so these were a little a few of these smaller games let's just move them aside and uh shall we unbox more of the smaller games while we are at it 
you know, just to take a little breather, and then we are going to throw us ourselves back into the big games again. I'm here just a second. Okay, a few more of these little games. So, first one that I have, I already opened it up because I was uh, looking at it, but I was not sure what it's about. It's called Dice Conquest. And you get a set of uh, dice with it. Uh, I'm not sure. I think there, there are a few sets. I'm not sure if the dice are just different, but the cards are the same. So... Don't take my word for it or anything or anything. Please note the rule book is under this plastic insert. Wow, that's interesting. I mean, okay, so the rule book is probably be beside behind to, so you can see the dice because of the packaging and everything. Uh, but yeah, I think this one also can be played solo if I remember correctly. So I think I will be playing it solo on my channel. You will see a gameplay of it. Uh, it goes one to four players and I think you are rolling these dice and you are trying to fight off these Like cards will show up. Uh, these are like uh, creatures that you need to fight and uh, There's also like all kinds of different classes and uh, you will track your health. There's a round begins and uh, Pit poison dart all kinds of different things you are going through this is I think like you are going through a dungeon But everything is on cards they kind of compacted it to a little small area. So as I said, I think there are multiple sets, but I am not sure if they are different, like if the monsters are different or just the team is different and everything's the same, the abilities and everything. So you just figure out what you want to do with it. But I think I saw different sets. Maybe it's just this one. It doesn't say anything anything about different sets so a co-op adventure using just dice and cards yeah that sounds right uh yeah so it's dice conquest i'm really looking forward to playing it a little bit and seeing what it is all about uh, next up we have another mandu games called gang of dice i saw dice I saw this artwork which looked really cool, so that was enough for me to get the game. And uh, see what it is all about. Because it's Mandu games, as I said, and I really like their games. So you get a bunch of dice, you get some cards that are really tightly packed, 11 plus. Okay, oh, that's how much you need to get on the card, I presume, to be able to claim the card. I think you are rolling dice and you are trying to claim the cards and all that, so let's just punch the board out. Oh, so these are like tokens worth, everything is worth three. Okay. Let's just do it like this. I found out that this works wonders. If you punch it like this see look it goes way faster okay so we also have a oh these are the screen shields that you will be using for hiding your dice so you can so you are basically okay okay got it got it but we don't need it in a bag we're gonna use bag to hold these inside and I think this insert will not be helpful so I'm just gonna throw it right away because I can already see that a lot of room is going to be needed for all the components and everything, you know, see? And when I put these cards in, if I manage to open them up, because they look like 
they are really so snugly packed I hate myself for not bringing the the sharper knife now I need to like almost destroy them I could go downstairs get a better knife but it's not an option now I'm now I'm now committed to this knife so come on These are the best packed cards I ever saw. Okay, so there's like a little opening here. I can just start it. Like stick knife into it. it. It doesn't have a sharp edge. I need a pencil or something. Wait a second. I will open this one. Come on. So... This is a good stream, right? When I'm off the camera, that's really like something people enjoy. Let's stream, but let's not be on the camera. Okay, I can't open this one whatsoever. Ah, now I'm angry. <laughs> I am not, but uh, still. How can I open this one? Is there anything sharp in here? that I can use maybe yeah I will just damage the card so oh wait a second I can use this cardboard to try and reach inside here ha I use the cardboard to cut plastic I bet you you never saw anything like it Oh man, and of course I kind of damaged the card a little bit, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. So yeah, we have some cards that we are going to probably need to roll some dice to win them. And uh, that sounds interesting. And I'm just gonna throw it in this little bag, just so they don't go over all over the place and uh, this bag looks a little bit dirty to me so I'm just gonna use the new one and if you see these dice they're really cool they have these guys like from the cover I presume that's the six yeah because that's the one on the other side so yeah that's something different And you know me and custom dice no matter if it's just a little bit of a custom customization on them like this like in, for example these guys i'm all all up for it okay next up of those little games i actually played this one at spiel was kites kites is a stressful game of flying kites but you are actually using a sand timers they are your kites and you need to constantly flip them back and forth or if they run out they will fall down and you lost the game so yeah not happy oh no we'd love to bring you but okay so again uh, they put one of these in their box this is also floodgate games again so yeah you have this joker this one you can flip anytime you want uh, at some point you can't flip it anymore but yeah you have all these sand timers in different colors and you need to flip them and you need to make it make sure they don't run out uh, if they run out that means that uh, you have lost the game because you can't flip it anymore stuff like that so uh, and you are playing this card so if this card has like uh, if it has red then you can flip the red if it has uh, only red well this one is for only orange only yellow only blue only purple this one can flip either red or orange and uh, they made it so you can keep your hands left or keep your hands right you will see the them anyway so as you can see you can flip multiple and i think you can only use this one this one to flip this one only these cards so you have to be careful about that and uh, there's also an expansion 
with thunders and with entanglements and with the airplanes going on which make the game even harder and we played it uh, like I played with some random people and the publisher at the boot stand and <laughs> we had so much fun we barely made it it was like last turn we made it and then they were like now do we want to try it with a little bit more like a heavier stuff you know and we were like um, no it was already heavy game so yeah it's pretty simple game, pretty straightforward, but I think it's so much fun. So yeah, I got that one. Hiroba. Hiroba is uh, something like Sudoku. Daniel might like this. I'm not sure if he's still here. He might be. He might be the only one here. And uh, yeah, so this is like Sudoku meets I don't know something mm. come on so Hiroba you have these stones and you will be playing these stones on this board you will set up the board and you are trying to uh, be around these lakes you are also trying to have uh, the most scored in this so you can score extra points you score points in all kinds of different ways and uh, yeah that's basically it. it it's like something similar to so, somewhat similar to sudoku and uh, there's also stones so you can hinder each other you can throw stones so they can't like be by your side or something like that and you can do like double the koi fish points i don't know it sounded so interesting and different that i wanted to check it out so i got it and uh, it's one of those super easy game it's also from the publisher of the rainforest they had these like super easy games like easy games to teach to learn so i wanted to check those out and there's nothing much to talk about it it is what it is it's that <laughs> hiroba so that and then we put this and this uh, next up from these smaller ones we have ecosystem and ecosystem coral reef uh, both from genius games uh, these are actually the guys that did the uh, genotype that i reviewed on my channel and they have some really nice games because they try to incorporate like uh, real life things in it so you can learn something you know about animals or about uh, crossbreeding of the peas in genotype or um, about cytosis or a periodic table as you saw the games uh, i gave it to my friend to learn it so because he likes that these types of games and then we are going to play it and i'm going to review them uh, but yeah uh, so i can't unbox them for you now here Man, you don't have to apologize. If you have to go, go. What did you say? Got distracted again. My sister is getting married this Saturday. So have some things to do. Do you know how <laughs> you know how it is? Well, it was a long time ago when my sister was getting married. But uh, yeah, I presume there's a lot of things to do. Preparations, you know. And uh, so no worries. I'm here until 11, maybe midnight, we'll see. Uh, it's something like Sudoku, right? Uh, was interested in that one. Yeah, Hiroba. Hiroba is definitely something Sudoku with the koi fishes. And I know you like koi fishes. And yeah, now we are looking at ecosystem. But I did uh, I did unbox one, uh, the, the dead eye, just before you were not here. Check that one out. I think you would like it. Uh, I think you would like it. I think you would you would see how different it is because you can see it with the 3D glasses. It's something really different. So Genius Games, Outnumber, Color, Reef. Yeah, yeah, Cytosis, Zion. Okay, okay. These are just promo stuff. So Ecosystem, as I said, another one of the of uh, from the Genius Games. And it's a game where you like trying to build the best ecosystem of animals 
something along those lines. Why do I need a baggie for the cards? That's really weird. Do we have something behind here? I always learned, I learned to check behind here because they tend to hide stuff. So yeah, it basically you are playing these cards and trying to build the best ecosystem and then you get some points some way. I don't know, I just wanna learn more because they make games where you learn stuff. So yeah, you have bears and the bees and the elks and uh, what is this? Uh, I'm not sure, dragonfly, right? Eagle, a fish, a fox. And all of them score, I guess, in a different way. Two points for each adjacent bee trout to a bear. Oh, so you're basically taking these and putting cards next to each other and trying to form the best possible options. Yeah. My God, this sounds like a, like a lighter version of... I mean lighter in the sense that there's only cards. Like a lighter version of Cascadia, I think. Come on, why do you resist me? <sighs> uh, check out the Dead Eye. Uh, it is a solo game, but it has this weird effect, you know, with the 3D glasses. And I was just putting those glasses on and <laughs> it's insane. I'm not sure if I would play the game with it because then I would not see well, you know, because my eyesight got worse in the last year. So, yeah. And uh, these are just more cards of foxes, meadows, and they all score differently. This sounds like a super interesting game. with uh, really interesting and different scoring patterns and whatnot so and it goes up to six players and 20 minutes of play that sounds about right okay i like this already i like it you just uh, you just can't get into it i don't know uh at first, idea of playing games solo was really strange to me too. Uh, next up is Ecosystem Coral Reef. I guess it is the same thing as the Ecosystem, but with the fishes and maybe some twist on it or something. How it plays. I presume it does because it says three points if on bottom row. Okay, so you play these by the rows or something. Interesting. Uh, yeah, uh, I was not that much into solo play. I find it really weird like you are sitting alone playing the game but then uh, I Think the games that are meant to play solo that are only have solo modes like the d6 one I have with those ships and that I Think those are more interesting because you know Because you feel they are meant to be played solo, you know and so you feel that and then you know that they are like you can't play it with your friends and then you can kind of get into it so to say and uh, the other games that uh, might not like trigger that for you is because you know you can play it with other players and they feel like the solo variant you, variant usually has like an extra rules extra set of rules with it you know so and if you want to play solo you have to play two dummy players and there's a, like a huge upkeep of stuff going on so uh, I can understand if you didn't like it for that reason maybe so yeah these are basically like a coral reef this is like a underwater version of ecosystem I definitely want to know more about these and uh, it has a solo no two to six players is this one also so yeah uh, I think that's the reason why. Try to play like a game that is strictly solo and I think it would change your mind maybe. Uh, okay, so we got these little games off the table. We opened a bunch of them. Dice Conquest, I'm also looking forward to try. Okay. Ugh. And 
and I'm back. Let's see, what are we going to open up next? I know. Uh, we're gonna move these apart. I, I want to know more about Flamecraft we opened up. I haven't moved it, so I'm just gonna put it here. Okay, this one, Terra Nova, is the lighter version of Terra Mystica that I rarely get to the table because, you know, it's Terra Mystica, people get confused and they don't understand how it works and this looked like a lighter version with a prettier artwork so i guess i'll have to check it out right and compare it to all terra mystica and see how it fares with it uh, the only one that i kind of liked to play solo was hit the road hit the road i can yeah you can play that one solo but I don't know, I think the issue is that you need to play the game that is strictly like solo game. Then you will probably have better time. Okay, let's see. Uh, Terra Nova, goal of the game components. Well, it looks like a way easier game. At least it looks like that. Terra Mystica had, I think, way more rules. I haven't played Terra Mystica in a while, to be honest kind of forgot some rules so I'll have to refresh my memory when I will be testing this one against it and see how it goes but uh, let's see the races the Sun worshippers so they can do are they oh they are also double-sided like they were last time with all kinds of different things going on Hmm. I think the well it looks pretty much the same I don't know it doesn't uh, artwork is okay it's more of a cutesy artsy it's not like serious artwork like it used to be in the Terra Mystica so I like it it really has like nice color and everything so i guess this is the board for however many players you have to play with yeah okay oh okay so this one has some houses on them this one does maybe tells you like this is like for the learning and then you can play this side or something like that and then we have a bunch of silica gel in each of the baggies and I just don't want to deal with them so I just take them out and I already see that I will have to rearrange everything because everything is packed like not by the player but by the component which I kind of don't like I like when everything is, uh, every, every, every player has its own bag, you know. Oh, we have some extra bags, that's a good thing. And we have explanation for all of the races, I presume. Yeah, okay, that's really nice. So you can have them, there's like a little cheat sheet that explains you. Once you build a left palace, gain two power in each income phase, so it reminds you of stuff that you need to do. Strategy hints, of course. That's really cool that they gave you this one. Okay. Um, this bag goes over here. Let's pour this thing out. And this thing. Yeah, they could have went with a little bit nicer components also but i guess they wanted to to keep the terra mystica feel so they kept uh, i see that some buildings are missing the round ones are not here i guess they threw those out and players get a certain amount of these i presume so i'll see how much they each player get because it's 40 power tokens i presume each of the player gets 10 power tokens uh, let me just quickly check 
it's a D. We have a power as well as three different power balls. Okay. How many powers? Take eight power tokens. Place two of them in a power ball. One, two in the power ball. Four. Two. You can see starting numbers in the middle of the balls. They have no significant value. Okay, so each player gets eight and there's 40 inside, which means probably that some race gets extra stuff. So each player get eight, so eight of these. I'm just gonna leave them aside here. And let's start packing by the color. Yeah. I think the upgraded components would be really nice because they upgraded the artwork and everything, but uh, okay, it is what it is. Can't say that these are bad or anything, they look really nice. So I will not be mad about it or say that that's not okay because it is eight of these tokens and that's one. Okay, so red one, let's pack them up. So yeah, six years as I be doing this. So for the next year, I think I will make something else. And uh, I think I should probably uh, Think of it more in advance and then organize something like, you know, have other YouTubers come on, other reviewers and chat a little bit about stuff with them. So that would be nice, I presume, because some of them are really, really cool guys and uh, have way better videos and everything than I do and have less subscribers than me which is kind of mind boggling to me because the guys are doing great work and they have like 1,600 1, subscribers or so. So I wish that more people would follow them because they would do a really great job. Four, one, two, three, four, eight. Okay, so what else? Only yellow ones left. Okay, this is weird. I put eight tokens per bag that's times four that's 32 and it over here it clearly says 40 power tokens but there are no more power tokens so i guess that's like a misprint in the rule book or something i mean it's really weird misprint but If it is, it is, right? Okay, so we need to punch two more, three boards of, oh my God, so much coins. Okay, let's do it like that then. First, I'm gonna punch all the coins and this big one because it decided to punch itself out on its own. So, let's try. First, punch all of these, put it in a bag, then punch something else, put it in a bag, and then go like that. Because there's a lot of components here. fingers and be way faster haha <laughs> nobody expected that right and they are all hanging 
Whoa, no, 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 no. I'm clearly losing my concentration because I'm starting to lose stuff. So much coins. There is way less of these like uh, terrain changing tiles. So I presume there is no that much of terrain changing or it is made way easier to do it. Because I remember in the Terra Mystica, you got a bunch of those tiles. You like got a lot of them. Hi wife. Wife says hi. I say hi back. Is the kid home? Did my parents brought him home? Or are you still alone? And I saw your message about the bread, so no worries. I will bring some when I'm home. So many coins, so many coins. Okay, let's just throw these in here just to see how much space are we working with okay so far the game definitely looks way easier than the normal game of Terra Mystica and as you can see these are oh they change yeah okay but there's way less of them so I don't know it's weird but uh, I'll have to try it to see how different it is yeah nothing here let's pack it all up I'm feeling like I'm working in a factory or something you know and just Backing things up. Okay, let's see what we have here. So this one can go here like this. Okay, we're just gonna lay it aside for now. Mm, I think all of these could easily go in the same bag. I have a few of these smaller baggies, so we're just gonna keep it like that. Then these tokens. And these. I think there's no, uh, I'm th constantly thinking what's the difference. I'm trying to figure out what the difference is from the base game. And there is no that uh, like a uh, track where you were praying to gods or whatever i think that's missing from uh, the, the game that's why those rounded were four those round uh, buildings that are not here because i don't see that track anywhere there's like just track for turns and that that and for the abilities so i think some of those are missing i guess that's what they cut out and just decided you know to go without those Did that improve the game? We don't know. We'll have to find out <laughs> when we play it. So many games to play. I wish the day was uh, the day had way more hours than it usually has, because then I would be able to have time to play all these games. Ah. Uh. Let's just pack it all up like this. I'm just packing it roughly in a. S I don't want to like each component have in the separated bag 
there's really no need for that some of these components are very much different so they can go in the same bag easily now if this one would fit in here and it actually does wow that's really good and that's that and we need to like put this one over here and that was terra nova um, really looking forward to trying this one out and seeing how different it is from terra mystica and i hope that it is so good that i would easily replace my terra mystica with this one that would be awesome uh, okay next one I want to unbox we have like two more hours of live streaming I want to check out which one one of these big ones okay let's check out mystic veil vale. so we have mystic veil vale essential edition it is basically a base game and three expansions Whale of Magic, Mana Storm and Whale of the Wild and uh, I always wanted to get my hands into the Mystic Whale but I never knew where to start do I really need all the expansions what is like what do you really need just from all of that because there, there is a lot of content for it so I kind of always stayed away from it but then uh, I got an opportunity to get this one in my hands and it said essential edition so if it's essential edition that means that only has essential stuff in it and I wanted to check it out and again I'm seeing something that I really like and that is a playmat why does it have a rubber around it come on it's gonna damage it you don't do that to a board game you don't put ah, the rubber kind of left the mark a little bit yeah but it is what it is so yeah you get the play mat where you were going to keep the cards so they start to incorporate these play mats in games this is the third game now besides flamecraft and uh, trekking through history that has play mat in it and I absolutely love it. I think this is already an essential edition, a good essential edition. You get the playmat. So we get that. And we get a bunch of sleeves to sleeve all the cards. And we get a bunch of tokens. And uh, these are, I presume, all the expansions. So resources are already in the bags so I kind of don't need to move them anywhere do they need to go like here and here somewhere I'm just gonna leave them here for now now I don't want to sleeve all of these cards right now this is not what I want to do okay so yeah really nice so this is like the base game card so I don't need like to open these one uh, once until I am uh, I am decide to play with them so these are the three expansions and I can just keep them like this and open them once I want to like play the game and uh, I presume that these now I figure it out these are probably the dividers at least they look like that yeah those are the dividers so I guess I can just get them out of these and uh, I will probably sleeve them later oh I also have these tokens and boards to punch uh, but yeah level 1 advancements level 2 advancements level 3 advancements level 1 whale level 1 advancement but I already have level 1 advancement these are i presume for the level two whales level one advancement level okay i'm not sure how i use these i guess the rule book will tell me 
starting deck for each of the players base game Veil of Magic, Veil of Wild, Mana Storm, Conclaves and these are just playing cards that you will be using for something okay so we have dividers in here that's good but I don't feel like sorting out that now on the camera this will took forever take forever like like it did with the, the dominations so we want to avoid that if possible and uh, we're just gonna leave everything in here and just punch out the components I guess I can punch out these tokens in here let's just do the fast thing oh this punch out really nice it feels like it's a sturdy cardboard I already like it feels really like okay So far so good let's throw this in more of these fives let's throw them in this one and all of these ones let's throw them in here just quickly see if they explain you how you sort everything hmm. okay but I don't see how you sort them out Quick reference, leader role, lore, card amulets, that's from expansions I presume, all of the cards explained in the back of the book, oh man, this is so nice that they gave you clarifications for everything, for all of the cards, that's really cool. leaders and what not additional rules druid clans but they don't explain you what these dividers are for and i don't like it i wish they would tell us tell us how to separate everything but uh, okay i know that few of my friends know more about this game than i do so they will help me out with it okay so that was mystic veil vale essential edition and uh yeah let's check out we have what like two hours that's fine uh let's check out terracotta army from board and dice and next one will be tiletum also from them wait have i just cut out okay i just cut a little bit in the box actually i'm an idiot oh my god okay so yeah i damaged the box a little bit but i think i will survive yet still oh man i really didn't have to do it like that but i was sure I was doing everything all right let's see how much damage did i caused to the box a little bit nothing that 
a little bit of tape will cover up. Okay, Terracotta Army rule book with lots of miniatures and everything. Terracotta Army, I mean, it was a good excuse to get miniatures. Oh, so many things to punch up. And let's open it up. So many plastic if I was not recycling this would be like <laughs> crazy okay so the board the car cardboard let's just put it here okay so the board also has this thing where you need to put something like in the woodcraft we need to put something in here I guess that's where we're going to put the terracotta army and everything Ah, uh, already I like this game. Already looks interesting. Ooh, what do you put in here? Okay, so we have miniatures of different types and kinds. Now, this is going to be interesting if I can't if I can't paint them because we need to like. But they have different bases, sort of. And then these horses. I think we are going to be able to paint these. I think that maybe the painting is not that important, like the color. And I see miniatures are not the best quality. I see some of them have bent spears, so that means it's a, like that soft plastic thing going on. But these meeples look cool. Okay, so each player color is not. Ooh, more miniatures. Given separately. Yeah, I'm not sure if we are going to be able to paint this. And uh, I guess this is used for, for scoring. Sort of. Something. I guess this is used to score stuff. But mini miniatures don't look like they fit in here. So I'm not sure what's going to be going here. Well, that's weird thing. But okay. We'll have to figure out what it is. There's the little thing knob for this thing over here to put it inside. Okay, so miniatures aside, we need to figure out everything else. First of all, we need to put everything in the separate baggies because I hate when the components are sorted by the type and not by the color of the player. It's just why? But I mean, I understand why they come packed like this, but why would anyone keep it like that? Is not what what I understand. My English is slowly failing me. It's minute minute by minute. I'm slowly talking gibberish and I can hear myself talking completely in a made up English language. So yeah, just two more hours and we are done. Uh, streaming for six hours and constantly talking is tiresome. It's pretty hard and I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing this anymore. At least not for this long. Two hours, three hours, I can deal with that, I can manage that, but this right now is... Now I'm wondering, do, do the armies, need, do these miniatures need to be different colors? Or are they made just for the like pur purpose of something? Because I really wanted to paint these guys in different, in the same color, sort of same color thing going on and I'm now wondering do I really need them like oh okay so this one goes on the that one well, well we are going to figure it out when I read the rules then I will know and I'll see if I can paint them or not because as I said they are really 
easy ways to paint miniatures to look better even to get more of an earthy look than, than this just you know maybe they are for each player no but they are distinguished by this so I guess I guess there's something why you need them in different colors so they would not do that like just because they came I believe there's a reason for it and uh, I have kind of similar colors that I can use but uh, we'll see I'm still baffled 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 however you want to say it by this one what does it do what's this for what do you put in here and slide that's what interests me the most because it's you know it's so deep it's like why is it shouldn't be that deep for any reason it feels like the miniature can slide in there but i don't believe that's the thing because it looks like it's a bit smaller than the miniature base so i don't think it's that and i almost lost in this one okay it's the smallest component i ever saw okay so we have some more components for each player I guess this yellow purple blue so I'm gonna throw those also if I only saw them sooner before I closed all the bags but it is what it is so let's punch it out so I think this is the longest unboxing video of board games unboxing board games video at least on my channel i will not claim that it's on a youtube because i haven't watched i haven't tried and searched for you know the longest unboxing videos but i think this is one of the longest the longest ones so i believe that I'm holding sort of an official record unless you know about someone who did it longer than me unboxing games for more than six hours if uh, because I plan to do it for six hours and uh, yeah if you know anybody that uh, did it more than six hours do let me know so I can uh, go and attack those persons <laughs> okay so do these need to go in a in a box with the player or okay so these kind of correlate with the color of the miniature to be honest so that's why i'm thinking i'm not able to paint them and uh, be able to distinguish them by color i mean i probably could currently i'm thinking about it is it possible to do it? I'll have to figure it out. Oh man, I like these Chinese coins with the holes in it, but when you have to extra punch that and you have like fat fingers like I do, that's usually super hard to do it. And what happens is usually when you're punching it out they kind of don't punch out very well and oh this one goes probably on top of this one so this is like a three stack thing like this one and then this one and then this one and you're probably doing rotating something in this side and this oh i already like it lots of brown tiles lots of coins a huge and insane amount of coins that I will need to extra punch out and I'm already nervous about it so I guess this one is also going to take me some time to punch out like dominations so bear with me Whoa. and these 
Okay, so I'm just gonna leave these squares for now because I really want to punch the coins first and then... Oh man, <laughs> this is so much cardboard in here. No, this is not okay. To make people punch out this much cardboard is not cool. And when I know that I need to punch each and every one of them, this little thing inside, oh, crazy. But these are actually nice because these little squares, you can actually use them in a miniature world as the pavement. You just glue them on the base, one next to another, and you have a pavement of sorts. <laughs> Daniel says, I'm done for today, you have my full attention. Yeah, man, you've been here most of the time. I think if there was no you, over here, I would probably be alone, which is fine. It's okay. But I'm saying you can take some breather. It's okay. We have to like, see this, uh, I don't, yeah, you can see, see this amount of coins. We need to punch each and every one of them. And then I need to save these up because as I said, I use these to make pavement on miniature bases. If I have like a situation where I need pavement and stuff, so these are really valuable stuff that I don't want to lose. So this will take some time to punch everything out. I think the knife, yeah, the knife is a little bit faster. Like if I punch it like this and then, oh, come on, come on, yeah. So there's a gazillion coins, little coins, that need to be punched out. And there's... Oh, this is so boring. So... When is your... Uh, I would ask for Bitoku, but it's another hefty one. Yeah, but don't you have Bitoku? I thought you, I, didn't you told me that Bitoku is like, it looks complicated, but it's not. I felt like you have it, you played it, so you know. Or did you just say that because uh, you have like uh, some knowledge you saw online? Uh, those coins are a real pain to punch, had them, and they took forever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they will take forever. There's so many of them. Sometimes I wish that they just gave me metal coins. You know, I would pay extra for metal coins just so I don't need to punch them all like this. And there's no really a faster way to do it or slower way. You just need to go through it, power through it. And this is going to really take forever. I wanted to unbox like a few more games before we are done wanted to really go fast but this game is really slowing me down right now with these coins i will definitely talk to the person at board and dice about this experience and <laughs> how i didn't enjoy it that much and they should think about it before they go put us through something like this oh boy you have Bitoku, right? So yeah, please don't make me uh, punch it out if it's like a lot of work. But I can always show you uh, Precognition, maybe. That's a game that really has an interesting mechanic going on where you are sending cards to others. They're sending some cards to you and... You are all working together, but not. It's a really interesting game. I can't explain it right now. I need to like read the full rule book. I just got a crash course of uh, what I think about the game and everything. So, yeah. Uh, I also got Living Forest. Oh, do you know which one I want to uh, unbox? Lock and Key. That one. That's right. It's right there on the shelf. I'm going to unbox it next after this one because the box is so thin and I saw how the game looks when it's fully assembled and 
for the love of me i could not understand uh, where where do they put all the components because it look the, the box looks like it can't hold all the components uh, i think they you because they have these like a clay tetris -y components in a 3d like stuff and i they even at essen they put like a little sign that uh, oh my god don't lose it they put a little sign uh, every box contains clay components because the box looks so small that people probably thought that that was like some deluxe upgrade and if they uh, like didn't buy the deluxe upgrade then would they they would just get cardboard or something uh, that's what i presume i haven't opened it up yet so i don't know <laughs> but bitoku is so pretty yeah i have to punch it anyway so why not today because i want to go home i have to work tomorrow and uh i don't want to be un oh my god this is ungodly amount of coins that you need to extra punch out so i would actually pay a person to do this for me if there was anyone here who could do it for me my niece is actually downstairs i could have employed her or, or no she's not her father came from a trip so she's probably with him so uh, i could probably pay my father or my mother to do this for me like here are the coins punch these out here's the knife do it <laughs> oh man uh, i must say that even though uh, doing this for six hours is pretty stressful i'm actually enjoying it and uh, I don't find it such a bad experience as at first as at first I thought it would be, but uh, I definitely think that uh, my throat is going to suffer tomorrow for it because uh, I feel like it's really sore from all the constantly talking, 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 but. Uh, I can't just sit down in silence. <laughs> I wanted to put the background music, but last time I tried that, uh, there was an issue. Some of the parts of the songs were like too loud. The others were too silent. And then you couldn't hear me over the voice, my voice over the music and stuff like that. So I just decided not to mess up with it right now. If I would stream more regularly, I would probably find the perfect balance like find the songs that have the same or make them like make the playlist that has the same like height of the sound like noise whatever see i'm, I'm losing myself easily so right now i need to save up all these i know it looks stupid but i actually really use these to make pavement as i said on a miniature basis and they can sometimes save you a good amount of time because you can make pavement in all kinds of different ways but these just you know you put some glue on the base and just take the tweezers and throw them on the base and uh, once you paint them nobody even knows that it's a cardboard thing and it's not like a 3d sculpted like usually does with some of the sculpty materials and whatnot so yeah we got our little bag of drugs. Ah, I need to drink something. Hmm. I also do like punching out the games and leaving the cards, but not when you are doing it for six hours straight. <laughs> so that kind of feels like hell no so let's try first and assemble this thing the the wheel so i just put this thing over here and then the big wheel and the small wheel and then this 
Oh my god. Okay, okay. At first it didn't hold at all, but once you start pushing it, then it bites in. So, okay, this is really cool. So, you can spin it like this, and then like this, and like this, and like this, and like this, and like this. And like this and like, okay, that's really nice. Uh, we need to bag up all of these tokens. And it's like I heard a bug falling down. Maybe a stink bug somewhere. But he would already fly, right? If he was in here. So I really do hope that he didn't somehow got into my studio. Because it would be kind of embarrassing to see me squeal like a little girl while the bug is flying around. <laughs> yeah. Next year you'll do a seven hour live event, like a gaming marathon dice tower style. Uh, that's an option, actually. Um, if I had more time to organize stuff, I would do like a collaboration with, with other YouTubers, you know. I would definitely do something along those lines. And then like invite them on my channel, we play some games together because I did something like that for... Uh, board games with uh, with Niramas uh, I was uh, on his channel when he was celebrating 5 years or 5000 subscribers he was celebrating something and he asked uh, if any of the YouTubers want to join him you know in playing games stuff like that and I was like yeah man sure why not and kind of we kind of hit it off now we talk from time to time and he's a really cool guy so I was there, uh, I was their guest, uh, I was his guest on his channel and played some games with uh, him and his friend, with uh, two of his friends, actually four of us, we played Galaxy Tracker, I think I completely destroyed them in the game, but I'm not really sure, I think they were like uh, new to the game and I knew a lot about the game, so... I think I figured it out. These things go over here and you can like flip them or move them or do something with them. So yeah. Uh, yeah, basically, I think I think uh, I destroyed them like in those uh, games, but it was so much fun. And I wanted to do something like that. Uh, I hoped, as I said, that I will reach 2000 subscribers because I'm doing that huge digital giveaway when I reach it. So it would be nice if I could do it. If I was able to like uh, reach it, then I would probably postpone a little bit of this celebration and organize everything, you know, to have like a regular celebration with gameplay, with giveaways for straight hours, for seven straight hours, six hours actually, seven will be next year. So yeah, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about something along those lines and uh, it will probably happen, but uh, next year, this year, it's too late. Uh, still, we are going to have a giveaway. Or I just might do that for a giveaway, you know, like five hour stream, call all kinds of different uh, people to come on my stream and play some games with me and then like do a giveaway of the set game that we are playing or other games, you know, just have people in a chat but that would require people to be in a chat, which I don't think it's easy to do, you know, to make people come and sit seven straight hours with you to watch you unbox stuff or play the games. So it would be a challenging thing to do. Uh, so yeah, I wanted to check it out really quickly. If the this Terracotta army, if these officers, crossbowmen, guards, soldiers, musicians, horses, kneeling archers if and footmen, do they need to be like that exact color? They actually don't. That's interesting. That is interesting. 
because you kind of know which one it is what it does because they all look different but still i think i could paint them up to make them look a little bit better it's not that anything is wrong with them like they are right now but i kind of want to paint them i might just do it who knows but i also say that for a lot of things and i figure out also these things can hold these miniatures so they will slide here do something so that's really cool so yeah a lot of miniatures actually i was not expecting that many miniatures and i'm not sure how to pack everything up because of this box actually this box is the culprit it is taking so much space and i don't think it's needed to be this big but uh, okay it is what it is we are going to try and figure it out uh yeah i was on this game is broken yeah, I, I got in touch with them because I had this idea where I would uh, trans literally translate the game in creation and uh, <laughs> and then they would need like to guess what the game I'm talking about and there was like an easy mode, medium mode and a hard mode which they were absolutely had no idea how to what I was saying because you know the translation has nothing to do with the name of the game when you translate it directly to creation like literally and uh, i think it went well but i think they did not have that much fun actually i think that uh, they were kind of i don't know i don't know I, I just got the vibe that they did not enjoy that part of the of their podcast that time i don't know i just got that feeling maybe i'm wrong maybe i'm not but uh, yeah it's the feeling i got so who knows so yeah why does it say that i'm live for four hours only live four hours 17 minutes 42 seconds on the i'm looking it on in a youtube studio when i know for for a fact did the stream ended up in some way of or something uh over here i don't see in a stream labs how long uh yeah so that was that experience uh, it was fun they never called me back again but uh, uh, it is what it is right now it sounded like I'm offended uh, yeah okay this game packs super tight and I will probably not be able to put anything else on top of this box otherwise i will squash it see these things already i thought they would fit here and when i put the rule book and everything yeah terracotta army doesn't pack well back in the box maybe if i just threw the miniatures like inside whatever so yeah i i'll have to figure out what what to do about it okay uh next up hey, okay okay block and key that's the one i wanted to open up to see how it looks okay Ugh. uh let's see okay so as you can see this is the the thickness of the box and this is like a normal box as you can see it's twice uh this one is twice thicker than this one but this when it's completed it's like a this 3d tower thing going on and there's like components in here i don't know i just 
I think that's the reason why they put like a notification, like they wrote it with a hand. I guess they were asked a lot, so they just put it over there. So the board, the, the lid itself is the board. This is just a sleeve, but the lid itself is a board that you play on. So, well, there's no that many components in here, really. So you get these really heavy clay components. Check out how big this Ziploc bag is. So you get these clay components. This one is different from everyone else. In, as you can see, they are even clinking together. So I hope they don't like get destroyed. They look really cool. It's like a Tetris thing. Uh, shiny, yeah. Uh, and you get these like a Tetris -y, 3D thingy. And uh, when you build a board, I will try to build it now. You can see it on this front camera. You then you need to like put these in certain shapes to get like on top look at the top of the cards and see certain shapes and colors and whatnot so i don't know i like i liked it for the presence itself it looked like something that uh, like when you are having it on a table people will stop by and just look at it because you know it looks interesting and you have only one that's like a cube so that's weird and you get a bag of sorts okay so yeah you get four of these and you will flip these over as you can see this is also like a player board of sorts and uh, you will then what put it like this oh i get it i get it i was figuring out how it works so basically you just put it like this so you have to assemble it every time but uh, I think that's okay because it assembles pretty easily at least it looks like it assembles easily so I really want to show this up oh hell okay so I see what I'm doing I'm completely no yeah I need it needs to go like this okay so no, I was good the first time I folded this one on the wrong side and it looks like it's going to break I hope it doesn't I would be very sad so you assemble it like this okay so you have this and then you move these aside and then you put this on top of the so it goes like something so it goes something like this Ooh. like that song right so <laughs> you assemble it oh my god I'm pushing okay this one it's definitely tricky to assemble but once you manage to do it so it's like this I hope you are seeing it and then you use these things you put them up here you put them in a sort of some way by using these cards I don't know yet how the game plays but it looked interesting it looks really like a, it has a nice table presence and sometimes that's just enough to keep me going, you know, interested more in the game. And you will use these cards and I guess you, you have to figure out to make stuff up here that when you look it from the top up looks like this, you know. You need to call, put them in this kinds of kind of order, something. And uh, that's actually all I know about the game. I don't know much, but that's what I know. You need to find I think this is pretty like simple easy game at least it looks like that so yeah that's it that's the game
you assemble it like this and you start playing the game or have I maybe maybe I have assembled it a little bit wrong and should have put these on the inside and outside let me just quickly check just to put cards in a bag let me just quickly see the rule book how do you assemble this thing no I actually did it good it goes on the inside it can go on the outside right the point is that you can see it from above but have to place the pieces to match the card no I mean you can look from above it's not like you have to place it like super high but the thing is that I <laughs> I'm not really sure I'm not really sure players take action let's read a little bit about it we have time it's only it's only 15 to 10 so 15 minutes until it's 10 so let's read a little bit about this one let's figure it out I mean why not right so you need to excavate a block or position a block and check refill key cards so to excavate the block simply take all the blocks from a row or column in the excavation yard and then refill each side by drawing blocks okay so you put all these blocks in a bag and I guess you put them in uh, this thing over here this excavation yard and uh, then you somehow take everything from one row of these blocks or optionally you can position a block on top of here place one block from your supply onto the temple floor following the placement rules below and then you claim one or more cards if you manage to to make it like from the top down looking like that so i guess it's like a tetris -y thing going on there's some rules how to put blocks on but uh, besides that i think oh, okay there are some rules i think regarding i think these are important for something so you have to have that in mind when you are doing when you are putting blocks or something up there So yeah, there are some rule placements, like you need to place it in a way that um, you have to abide by some rules and then you claim key Well, at first I thought this was like super easy game, but now it looks like it's not that easy. And there's like these two stars, one star, four star, three star, like one, two, three, four these are important for something these are also i think important for something uh if you can see it these over here so actually and yeah okay so that's like two pages of rules and that's that i guess i listen i will bring this tomorrow with me on the game night and i'll let you know how it plays exactly because there's like a five rules here so i guess i'm playing this tomorrow so this is the ooh, and you can see over here all the backers i guess that helped back this game uh of course my name is not here <laughs> so yeah okay okay from what i saw i really like it just by seeing what can you do like with this 3d puzzle in nature of it but yeah and, and i admire them how they managed to pack it in such a small package and the game as you can see the presentation of the game the game looks really like there's a lot of it like you know and then this thing over here i'm a little bit worried when you are drawing them from the bag you know 
Oh, I mean, okay, it is what it is. You can probably feel what you are grabbing, but if you do it like fast, yeah, of course, this that was the lid. This was the bottom part. So let's just do it like this. Uh, like that and like that and then we put it like this and uh yeah you have to play as a match the card uh, it looks cool i'll check it out i'm intrigued well glad i i i uh, i am glad that uh i kind of discovered a new game to you you know that always has a nice feeling yeah, when when you discover a new game for somebody okay so ideal confluence is just a bunch of cards i will not unbox that one. Oh, cactus town i just opened it to see the miniatures but i want to see everything else for it cactus town cactus town game about cowboys and something and there's some kickstarter ex exclusives in here also but uh, yeah they have some really nice miniatures like um, and if you see empty spaces this is because there are expansions for this game but uh, I first wanted to see if I will like this game enough to get all the expansions but the miniatures look really cool they are like this comic style cowboy thingies cowboy miniatures you know they are like this goofy with uh, big torsos uh, small legs guys and uh, yeah i might be i not, not might i will be painting these guys because you know <laughs> this is like a yeah this looks fun uh, yeah, I will most definitely paint these up, like in a, in a few videos or something. We'll see. Okay, what do we have? We have. Okay, so these are for standees because uh, I presume. Oh, there's some stuff underneath here. Okay, okay. Let's just keep the dice in the baggies. Let's just keep these over here like that. Okay, these are for players. These are, I presume, if you don't have miniatures, because I think I recognize some of these guys over here. So we're just gonna leave them as they were over here. yeah you get the board that you play the card put the cards on like to create the town if i'm not mistaken i don't think i need these i mean i understand why they are here but i don't think i will need them okay so okay so these are probably going over here let me just check oh they fit they fit perfectly in here so we're just gonna take them out of the bag and just throw them in here i presume they're also the the colors are here for a reason so i'm just gonna try and put them by the colors yeah cute cat okay okay these are not all the same green colors but uh, that's fine these are also not all the blue colors that are the same so i'm not sure if that's the some sort of mistake or why is it like that but uh, the colors are varying a little bit between this blue and this gray maybe i don't know yeah okay we'll see 
for now I'm just gonna throw everything in here until I know more about the game and uh, then I'll know how to put these in okay which means that probably these smaller ones are going around here on the board somewhere okay let's see what we have here first okay so these are like cowboys the lone ranger the bounty hunters the outlaws okay so these are all things you can play and these are i believe oh kickstarter content dear becker it's an honor and a pleasure okay so this was a kickstarter thing in all kinds of different languages four different languages to be exact which is really cool i guess i'll just keep the english version and uh let's see what we have we have punch boards here we have some blinds to hide stuff from other players okay and these i presume are for the miniatures because i think some of the yeah the guy behind the cactus is the guy behind the cactus okay so actually this give me like an idea how i can paint stuff you know for each player because each player probably has some of these i mean of course i can paint them however i want because we have these rings i can put the rings on them and uh, i even believe that they would fit inside the insert with the rings so that's really nice uh, i guess this is why these standees are here so i just might like throw them in there uh, okay let's see let's see okay first of all i figured out by myself that dice go over here three of them and the fourth one goes where where the fourth one goes okay i don't like that why is there room only for three dice when i got four of them and they don't fit here like they should oh wait one two three okay so they fit here four which means probably with the expansions i can fill these up with the other dice and everything so okay okay i got it let's take these out and let's throw them in here because i presume they go in here I have really high hopes about this one. I really hope uh, I will like it because I want to get all the other expansions and, and you know, paint the miniatures because soon I will be out of unmatched miniatures to paint. So I'll need something else. And it just might be this game because I like how it looks. It looks very much different and unique. So I'll just put standees right like here. Oh, we got, I didn't even see these guys. These are like little cat, little dog, snake, a uh, rooster, and a parrot. Wow, it's like little pets. That's fun. Okay, and uh, what did I want to do? Yeah, I wanted to punch out all the cardboard for now and just throw it in here until I figure out what I need wait this this goes in here no no I'll just punch out everything and just throw them like this in here and uh, but I will not do that with the, these tokens these round tokens I presume but these tokens I saw all them over here so I guess this is like an upgraded version so these are probably stuff I don't need but I'm just gonna keep them here for the first time once I play the game and I figure out what I need and what I don't need then I can like throw them away or put them in another bag you know in another box or something use them for something else for my game that I will one day make that will work together with each other because it will have like super simple rules and uh, it would be easy to incorporate them. 
that's at least what I'm hoping for. Okay, uh, I think I unboxed everything. So this is right, nothing there, nothing there. These things can be here. Uh, the cards, can the cards like stand up? Yeah, and they would like peek out from the box. So let's just remove these. Preacher's house, church, bakery. Okay, so these are like the spots for the town, for the cactus town. And then you can upgrade yourself. You have a shortcut and disguise and all kinds of different things, which looks pretty cool. So these are the colors. Okay, so each of the players get its own color thing going on. And there's some buildings, right? Okay. For now, we're just gonna put them all Now I have to see, is this different languages? Oh no, no, it's okay. There's more of same, not same, they're different. Uh, I'm not really sure what is this. Probably some sheriff and the deputies, outlaws, bounty hunters, bounty hunters, runaway, move all of your stand. Okay. And the last one that is like super heavy packed, I guess again, I'm going to need my cardboard to cut through these. Wait, let me see if I can do it again with the cardboard. Come on. Some of these cards are so well packed, it's insane. And I don't have my super sharp knife, so. Okay. If I was any more aggressive, I would probably damage them. Okay. Not sure if you noticed, Daniel, if you are still here, but I have changed a little bit. Okay, so these are like just different languages. Can can dancer move up to one speed. Yeah, okay, this is fun. This looks like fun. But I have changed a channel a little bit i mean i changed the videos as i review uh, how i review them a video quality i'm trying to improve them so a little bit as much as i can of course but uh, you know uh, that means that i will probably publish less videos in the future but uh what goes here what goes here like I'm missing something. Rules maybe? Oh right, it's the rules. The rules go here. Uh, yeah, I am upgrading the quality of the videos a little bit. Trying to figure it out. Uh, I'm thinking, should I keep these? Yeah, I'll just keep them. So in the future i hope you will see better videos from 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 my channel okay that was cactus town like the minis i hope i will like the game too and did you say that tiletum has a lot of things to punch out let's see what Sansuchi has to offer. Sansuchi is a game from Michael Kiesling. That's why it got my attention. And these are 
the Fractal Juegos publisher. And it's it's a game about you are building. Uh, wait, what is this? Spiel material. Oh, this okay. This is all in German. I guess these are the rules in German, which I don't need. So I'll throw them out. Uh, object of the game: design the best garden. So you are designing a garden. And it looks like fairly simple game but interesting enough that I wanted to check it out and uh, this is just like the promo of the games other games that they have simplicity why well, haven't seen this from them simple city simplicity well <laughs> interesting but I don't need it okay so let's see what we have here we have four player boards and uh, a bunch of cardboard to punch out again miniatures are not the components are not in a separate bag so we're gonna have to do that but first let's punch out some of these stuff i guess they go here right i was correct regarding that well, they are punching out themselves actually, <laughs> so that's good. And uh, yeah, this is some really phallic bushes. Okay, how do I sort them out? There are a few different wells over here. I presume I need to like have them sorted out in a way, in some sort of fashion. We're just gonna take out the cards and these cards are for something they tell you how you build probably oh each player has its own set of cards so and it goes up to five player because no maybe they're just the colors and not the player sets so let's keep that in mind So you are placing blocks on top and depending on the side where you sit you need to match the pattern on the card. It has nothing to do with the looking at it from top down. Oh, so you are watching it like a face front. You need to match, in, match the whatever you see on the cards. Okay. Okay, that, that sounds interesting. That's a little bit different than I was than I imagined. I was thinking that you are looking in from top down. But uh, it actually sounds really good. Like like you said, like uh, looking it from uh, depending where you're sitting. That sounds interesting, different. Okay, I think I need to punch these out by the type and probably then i will figure out what goes where in here oh wait 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 i think i understand now this is like if you are playing two players, three players, four players, then you just take that amount of tiles. So yeah, let's do it like that. I think that two plus. So anything that's two plus probably goes in here and you just add more for three players and for four players. Well, that's really neat. Uh, yeah, so uh, block and key sounds interesting already. Mm, just because of that depending where you're sitting so you have to like I mean you can't probably think about what others are seeing but there's always like a chance you will set up something for other players which you kind of don't want to right but still you do it because what can you do Oh, 
Okay. I think this is, will be the fastest way to unbox these, to unpunch these. And then just take them all and sort them by the numbers. Come on, don't do that to me. Okay, so I'll just throw them in here, like four, and over here the threes. So if I try to place them right away, they will fall down and so that's three, that's four, that's another two, another two. Oh man. This is again one of these game one of those games that needs like forever time to set up and to set up in a box, but it, it gives me the Quadropolis vibes where depending on the number of players you already have everything set up and you just take from the box whatever you need for however many players is playing the game. Which is kind of good if you ask me. I like that. It makes sense, you know. But it's always like a pain in the ass to put everything back in the box. But once you open the box you just start playing no questions asked which is always a good thing like you don't need to you don't need like a huge setup or anything so uh, the letter has probably the same amount of stuff as Sansuchi but it has cool dice and you like cool dice oh i like cool dice which means as soon as i'm done with this one we are going to open the letum so i can see how cool the dice are yeah you know i like custom dice or any type of dice <laughs> that are cool as you say so then we are going to unbox uh second a second listen to me we're going to unbox it right after we are done with this one it's two plus two plus four three four four two plus two plus Two plus it's three plus. Oh, Daniel, do I know what I have? Not in my possession, but what I uh, acquired. All the other expansions for Quest for El Dorado, that are this new uh, art style by the guy that I can't remember the name right now because sometimes the names just escape me. But you know who I'm talking about. The bigger cards i did review the base game and now i in a few days i'll have the other two expansions oh my god matthew dunstein is in my head i know that's not the, the designer of the games that has nothing to do with eldorado whatsoever but that game pops in that name pops in my head and i want to tell you who the artwork did for it the board is huge into letum so into letum so it's like a table hog thing going on i can work with that we have big tables in our club so i think that will be okay okay so this game has an insert that's really like half empty sort of like there's nothing that fits in here i think i punched out all the boards everything so yeah 
this could have definitely been a smaller box but i think it's big because of these uh, why uh, these uh, boards so yeah but that was sansuchi do trade vincent mm -hmm. do trade that's the correct answer right thank you for helping me out oh wait i forgot the baggie so yeah uh i got the quest for eldorado exp expansions and uh, now i have to see with my friend if he still has the base game like the normal the old version so to say so i can like do that comparison videos that i do okay let's check out tiletum on your proposal because you said it has some cool dice that i would like if you lied my friend i might not call you my friend anymore <laughs> just kidding okay mm. oh man i guess the smaller box was on top of it because the lid is a little bit like tilted inside but that's fine the components survived Ooh, the colors on the yeah i like the colors they're like pasty and, and the colors look like a euro game itself like a, like a kid vomited in a in a gauze and then you have colors <laughs> yeah oh my god they are really nice looking dice you were correct the colors are amazing like washed out pastel looking like colors like it i like them when they're like shiny with like colors like these but then again when they have colors like these they're also look really cool again i see we're gonna have to rebag everything and that's fine that's why we are doing this it's a do tray vincent do tray well i was not aware of that but uh, thank you for letting me know and why are only pink packed differently like all the pink are in one bag but then all the other colors are is the pink like uh, dummy player or for the solo game or something okay so let's just take it all out and see okay uh i'm just looking if you answered me why are all the why are only the purple ones packed like this and everything else was uh, packed separately i presume these are like for solo play or something uh i need bags these are like super huge bags i need smaller bags but i don't have any smaller bags okay the big one the big ones are are gonna suffice yeah those pink components pack individually is weird mine were also like that but uh, that's not like is this game for it's one to four players so what's the difference with the pink ones i presume nothing okay so i would hate if they were in a bag of a different size which means i need to put them in a bag like everyone else so that's just my little ocd firing on all cylinders but uh, i need to put them in the same bag not for solo just a player color maybe they added uh, added on like for some strange reason okay nevertheless i want every one of them to have the same bag so i rebagged them okay we need to first we need to sort these colors out that's really weird okay why did i took an extra bag is beyond me like okay maybe they had some issues with the with the first print of those components and then maybe they like uh, told them and then the company like the manufacturer sent them just the pink ones you know and they just throw them in 
and took all the others out or something like that that's that's only one that's the only reason why that it crossed my mind why they would be like separated like that because you know someone messed up something and then they send them the replacement parts and they just replaced all of the games and everything glorious spires that's like something for the game okay i like it so far uh let's reuse one of these bags for the cards and we have a baggie we have rule books and so uh, this is what i'm talking about uh not that i have anything against it but check this out solo mode rule book and you have a huge amount like this game was obviously not supposed to play solo and then you have and then you have like these insane amount of rules just for solo play so yeah i don't want to play solo games either when they're like this but when they incorporate it like seamlessly then then i'm okay with it i think those types of games like full solo games you should try those and i think you would like them and uh, you said all the cards are for solo play so okay they can stay in the bag let's see what we have in here oh my god again a bunch of tokens to punch up who would say that right go figure out I have so much plastic down here it's insane uh, okay let's see let's see okay I want to see the board you said the board is like enormous and I already see what you th oh my god come on Jesus Christ that's a huge board wow that's a big one and again it has a rondel and everything going on so that's nice wow such a it looks beautiful i like it 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 has it has all the washed up colors that i like in euro board games so yeah let's start unpunching stuff so this was easy <laughs> to punch out oh you know, these two they basically punch themselves out okay so i'll just throw them in here and now the worst 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 like the worst cobas worst part uh it, does this have magnet like merchants of the dark road thing i'm wondering it doesn't feel like it's there's something in there hey sesh is with us just came to say quick quick hello well, quick hello to you too. Thank you for stopping by. We are almost done. We are like 40 minutes until we end this live stream. Maybe I'll go for a little bit longer because I was a little bit late because I didn't press start streaming. <laughs> uh, Turzi probably did the solo for this one. I presume because he likes to do that. He likes to give you an entire rule book just for solo play. So yeah. Uh, but have you, uh, I presume you played the game since you know so much about it. So can you tell me a little bit about it? Is it any good? How good it is? How much did you actually like it? Okay. This was fast punching. <laughs> uh, let's take some more of these baggies because I see we're gonna need them for all kinds of tiles and components. Four or five times in a week 
Uh, I presume it's not that heavy game. Or. Ooh, Troa. Verona, Frankfurt, Bordeaux, Leipzig, London, Strasbourg. When you manage to play it like four or five times in a week, so I presume the rules are not like super complicated for it. I don't know, it looks like. Oh man, really washed up, interesting game. And I like games when they look like that. Not many people will say that. It's a weird thing. I, I, I like pretty artwork in board games, but something about the Euro games and the, the way and the way they uh, look is, is appealing to me for some reason. Even though they can look like super ugly. And uh, I presume that these... Wait, no, no, no. I'm going by the back of the game of the... So these two, these two, these two. This and this. They have the same background, so I guess they go in the same bag. Let's just take this one and stick it in. It's a fantastic, gets better with each play. You do a bunch of usual Euro stuff. <laughs> Everything. Uh, I might use that for my review if I like the game. Uh, I will quote you. The core mechanism is the dice drafting. Higher dice gives you many resources, but not much action. Lower dice gives you the opposite. Right. As per usual. Right. So, uh, so far, everything you said sounded like something I'm interested in. And I would like so. But what would you say it makes it different? Does anything makes it different from other games that you have played? I see some more colors. I guess those go in the bag. Right. Okay, okay. Uh, let me see what I have here. More of these. Mm-hmm. Got it. Uh, we need another bag for all of these components. Let's throw all of these and all of these in a bag together with this. It looks like they can go together. Oh my god, so many of everything. I, I already see that this is going to be one of those games that has like set up is I should probably detect what every what all of these tokens are for I presume some of these tokens are for solo play so I should probably just stick everything in one bag and I guess never touch it because <laughs> from what I saw I really don't want to deal with the solo variant of this game it just looks like it's too much and i need these this over here over here over here and over here uh, what did you say let me just check you are traveling through europe fulfilling contracts managing resources all the euro goodness <laughs> okay Okay, fair enough. Let's throw all the cardboard in there. Luckily, I left them open so I can throw in stuff when I get to it. Okay, let's see what we have here. So I presume these are like the coins 
and these are oh my god there's so many different resources that's insane okay let's take these out these look really nice like boring and brown and I love them wow really punching all of these is like I don't know I think I would not do this ever again my backs hurt I'm hungry I haven't eat anything for dinner and I guess it's bananas for dinner and that's that are these like a uh, coins or something resources right I presume and I don't know what are these knots these look like something weird and different one goes here all of these will need separate baggies or something one two like three maybe four different baggies I have these small baggies but I like them to be all the same but that's not going to happen but we have a few of the small baggies so we're gonna make it work also these are to keep track of your actions so I guess each player will get some of these where's the rule book? Should I put it with each of the baggies of the players or something like that? Where is the rule book for it? Oh my god. I don't see the rule book anywhere. And I don't believe I put it underneath the book. Okay. Oh, it's here. Jeez. It was underneath the box. Okay. Each player gets wood. Action point counters. Right. Game setup. Bum, 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 bum. Game setup. When you set up the game for four players, I presume they don't go to each player so I'll just keep them in a separate bag <laughs> should we order pizza yeah if you were closer I would take you up on that offer most definitely I could eat one right now but uh, yeah uh, and these can go also in here they will be much visible uh, I could go for a pizza now I definitely could but uh, I don't think that it would arrive in time you know I don't know <laughs> I would not order it right now so yeah this this stream could end up like you know eating pizza and uh, <laughs> reflecting on why did I buy all these games why did I hold all these games from Essen and could have I done a little bit less <laughs> reflecting on my mistakes okay let's see we need bags for you know what I actually think I could like use hmm. 
Okay, let's throw everything inside and see. My God, I, I actually feel like a drug lord, you know, packing stuff in the baggies and everything. <laughs> ah, see, now you got me with pizza. Now I'm thinking about pizza constantly. How many types of different resources do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Which means one, two, three, four, five bags for five different resources. Which means these three little baggies. Okay, the smallest one. Yeah, that's not going to work. This one's too small. So let's just go with uh, this one and just throw in all these buildings in here and this dial. So like that. Let me just quickly check out because these looks like they are solo stuff. I believe they are. So we have one board, we have one decree. No, okay. Oh man, I'm starving too. But you can go and eat, I kind of can't. I'm kind of stuck here, you know. You can always go and eat or order pizza. Why not? Okay, now let's move these aside and let's punch all these out. First, we're gonna punch all the gold. Bum. And uh, then when we bag it, we're gonna punch everything else. Oh man, punching this much games in six hours is, uh, so when, when one day somebody will ask me, what's the stupidest thing that you did on your channel? And I will say I did a live stream for six, hour where, six hours where I just unboxed all the games that I brought from Essen and uh, there was this guy that spent most of the time with me <laughs> and we were starving together i was starving together online on the live stream <laughs> with a friend of mine now not lots of people can say things like that right oh man Why did they put one of each on this board? For what reason? Why one of each? That looks so weird and out of place and strange. Only cards are for solo. Yeah, I, I figured it out when I opened the rule book. that only cards are for solo. So everything else you need to set up like a dummy player and everything that's automatically no from me. And that will be no. <laughs> oh man okay let's punch out a little bit of these Also, Daniel, since you are the only one here, of course I'm speaking with you. If you have a chance to play the 
a guild of merchant explorers give it a go it's a fun game actually there is a little bit of rng that will maybe favor other players sort of but the game is pretty fun it's like a roll and write game or flip and write however you want to call it and uh, with a little bit of a twist actually and it works really well i really liked it also i'm not sure uh do are you familiar the only thing uh, wait i kind of don't like is that the black and gray dice are too similar in color yeah i noticed that at first i thought like wait there's like too many of one color but yeah the gray and black are pretty similar i mean you can you can see them in a good lighting they look fine but if you are maybe at Slaven's house, he has a horrible lights, then you would probably not notice it. But I wanted to ask you, have you ever played XCOM game on a computer? Not the board, not that stupid board game version of the XCOM that is really not XCOM. Because uh, Slaven backed ISS Vanguard and we played it. And my god, that game is XCOM in the box. And if you like XCOM, if you played it as a kid, so we are similar age. I did play it a lot. And the newer, newest, newer version also. And uh, if, you, if you like that game, ISS Vanguard might be interesting to you. The story so far, we played it to like three missions. It's like a story-based game, you know. And the stories are fine. Like, I like storytelling games, but not when they are like bore you to death with stories. Like, uh, unfortunately, but I, I really wanted to like Tainted Grail, but there is so much story in that game. And that's Teletum. We ended up with Teletum. There's so much story in that game that I was like, oh, like, I can't do this. I can't listen to that much monologue so but uh, overall iss vanguard is like xcom in the box xcom the board game and i really really enjoyed it like it's super fun neither the video nor the board game well okay okay i thought you might have because that was like that was the game that was ahead of its time most definitely it was a game that was ahead of its time and uh I really enjoyed it as a kid. We played it a lot. Okay, let's unbox now the last one that's not unboxed on the table, and that's precognition. Let's see what we get in this one. Uh, I also have high expectations for this one. The where's the rule book for it? I know I've got the English rule book somewhere. This is not the English version, but I got the English rule book for it. It's language independent, so, you know, I don't care if it's not. But yeah, XCOM, XCOM is, was really game ahead of its time. Definitely ahead of its time. Okay, so we have a gazillion punch boards. I believe we are going to go a little bit over 23 hours when I plan to stop because I would like to punch everything out for this game and not leave it like this and you get a bunch of meeples i guess there is no player color here in a sense of components so everything can stay in one bag we got a screw of sorts what is this for my god this is something weird tal de fitia Tal Cartus. Okay, so these are some different cards. Well, that's in interesting. Uh, yeah. XCOM was the game that was way ahead of its time when it was released. It was, we played it as a kids and we even had some cheat codes to get some extra money so each of us can build our own base 
and fight aliens Tau the Pitya, Tau Priya I think these are the cards that are used by each player I think you play with your own set of cards so that's that I, I remember when I talked with the publisher about this game she explained me how the game works and everything but I I talked with so many publishers at Essen and I heard about so many games about so many new things that I completely like everything is blank to me that happened at Spiel you know because at one point you just you, you keep forgetting names of your friends because you are talking with so many people and you are having so many names thrown at you and you know different publishers and everything so at one point you just kind of like i don't know who you are i don't know who any of you are anymore uh but yeah uh one thing i noticed actually uh i know i'm talking only to you but somebody will watch this later probably if they endure all the six hours uh all of the publishers knew my name when i arrived like hi daniel how are you and when i met other designers review the games that i reviewed, some of their games i reviewed they were like hey daniel how are you daniel lubas right of course they pronounced the name wrong but that's fine i would probably pron i also pronounced their name wrong probably so that's completely okay but uh, i was uh, like pleasantly surprised that they knew who i am which was uh, really nice okay nothing in here explains what is this used for there's a weird plastic thing in the box it looks like it's used like to be a standy or something but the only standy here has like a white thing well maybe it's for this okay we'll figure it out the rule book is somewhere there i will find it later and put it in a box uh guild of merchant explorers looks very fiddly to me uh like the small cubes look like they would fly any everywhere haven't played XCOM, neither the video nor the book. Oh yeah, oh, I completely missed the part where you where you were talking about little cubes. It looks fiddly, but it actually it's not because you only reveal like five or six cards per turn, and uh, each turn you will reveal one card more than from the last turn, and it's pretty quickly over. So there's no will of course if you bump the table they will go all over the place that's no doubt they will go all over the place but uh, in essence it doesn't look like something like too fiddly to be honest okay let's punch out the big boards this is an interesting shape that i have no use for and now when I throw it out, like you shouldn't throw this out. You should see, save it for this, this and that. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Guild of Merchant Explorers. It kind of looks a little bit fiddly. I won't say it's not. But it's not that much. I, I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't have time to feel the fiddliness of it because the game was like over super quickly and as i said it's really like a fast game and it's so much fun it's so much fun doing all kinds of different things it's it's just a blast to play so i guess these all have their own unique place or something My God, it, it, it's beyond me how I can hear about the game, know everything about it, and just like two weeks later, look at it and have no clue what I'm punching out. I knew 
almost I knew everything about this game because uh, the publisher that I talked to the girl was really hyped about it and went into like super details about it uh, which I'm thankful for no, I'm not saying that's a bad thing but I like did I like uh, heard every little thing about this game I basically got a, a tutorial on I like got a learning like how to play the game and I really liked what I heard and now I'm looking at these components and I'm completely like blanking on them like what is this for what did she said this is used like and the people it's weird it's weird <clears throat> okay uh, let's see we have this thing over here I know you are traveling by the river one game I'm sorry I haven't brought from Essen and that's because they only had it there to show it and not to sell it was 12 rivers it was really like weird game like a palinko style game from some I think Japanese or Korean board game I s from some Asian land if I say that correctly because my geography is really bad you will be surprised how little I know about ge geography ge geography geography my god I'm butchering the English language I'm definitely tired enough to speak nonsense uh, but yeah I really thought that th that game would be available to purchase there so I really wanted to bring it with me but unfortunately it was not they just showed it off like this this one goes here right there's all kinds of different things going on oh man we punch this out and we are done not with all of them but there's few bigger ones that are left but most of them we have punched out which is okay I'm still thinking about that pizza man you mentioned it and now I can't stop thinking about it so thank you very much for that ah oh, man now I'm thinking what's my alter alternative for the dinner I mean I should probably not eat anything like huge but I'm hungry so I'm thinking McDonald's maybe to quickly hop over to McDonald's but uh, I'm not sure that would be probably overkill and usually on Fridays when I go home from the game night I just go and uh, pick up some McDonald's I like McDonald's I know it's a, it's an awful food but I just like it I don't know I find it tasty even though people say how can you eat that garbage I don't know I just can't it was a pretty busy day yeah right <laughs> punching all these uh, thank you for staying with me up this late you could have left easily i would not be offended you know that you don't have to like spend six hours
talking to me while I punch boards, cardboard and everything. So yeah, but I think I set up a new record. I think, I, I believe that nobody did a six hour unboxing. So I think I just, I just might use that like, you know, for the pitch when I talk to publishers, what, uh, what are your unique skills? What have you done differently than, than others on a YouTube? And I'm like, I did an unboxing for six hours. I was unboxing games that I brought from Essen for straight hours, six hours straight. And, uh, yeah, go figure. Okay. So I think this is the thing that I need to use a standee for. So that's that, that's that, that's that, 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 that. Uh, where's that little standy? Okay, so yeah, this little boat needs to go like this. Yay! Just like that. <clears throat> McDonald's opened in Komprivnica three months ago and I still didn't go. I have no interest in it which is kind of weird maybe if you try it and then you get hooked to it you know like then you are hooked and then you can't escape it you have to go and eat it even though you don't like it i don't know i like it i find it really tasty uh, usually the stomach my stomach doesn't feel well after i eat it because it's like it's not a good food i'm, I'm aware of that but it just feels, it, it just tastes, tastes good. So, you know, you have to poison yourself with something. It's somebody will choose alcohol. Somebody will choose drugs. Somebody will choose food. Somebody will choose knowledge, <laughs> whatever. I, I'm, I'm, I'm rambling now. I'm super tired right now. So I'm just rambling nonsense while I try to finish this stream. which was insane idea to do it at the fir in the first place but i'm glad i'm glad uh, you stuck with me through it thank you so much it helps out when you don't have to talk like to yourself <laughs> i mean i like mcdonald's but kind of don't want to go there it's weird uh, yeah you are weird that's what I, that's all i'm going to say you are weird man how do you want to go to mcdonald's and uh, can this go over here now? But like this, yeah, it can. Okay, awesome. And I believe these don't have to go. In a separate baggies. I think I can put them all in one bag because they need to be like placed randomly so yeah these are all going in one bag let's see where can we put them if we do it like this and like this and like this 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 bam 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 put these we put this precognition here and I know there's an English rule book somewhere in here. Ah, come on. No. I dropped some things so I just need to find them okay it's all here yay the English rule book player aid how you do decisions everything so you put some cards you give some to other players they return some cards back bam that's that uh, 
I will take you up on that pizza offer. Not sure when, but I will. I will. I might even make like we might even like I don't know. Maybe if I pick up my wife and son. So Wait, let me just reply to the message. Okay. So, oh, that is that. It's not full. I should have like stay for 17 more minutes, but I think I uh, I will count count in the time that I streamed without hitting the stream itself actually, like hitting the stream. Uh, so yeah. I will take you up on that offer with pizza and everything. Uh, one day, most definitely I will come visit you. You came to Osik few times so I guess uh, I'll have to organize myself somehow and uh, drop by to see your gaming room after all <laughs> so yeah this was uh, me streaming live for six hours and unboxing games uh, is anybody else unboxed games for more than six hours please let me know uh, and uh, yeah uh I, I think i i hold the record now <laughs> so yeah thank you all for uh, who dropped by and say hi uh thank you daniel for uh, for it uh, oh, i bite my tongue thank you daniel for entertaining me you were entertaining me more than i entertained you uh, i will take go and take some rest i have to work tomorrow and uh, game night is uh also so yeah uh that's that thank you all for being with me uh, thank you all for chatting and uh, we're gonna stream some more in the future I presume but not for six hours seven hours next year maybe <laughs> and uh, yeah until then pause it up